What's up, so gamers? guys, we are back for. And I don't need my controller, Ant -Man. so that can go on the floor. Bye, controller. All right, guys, we are back for Eggman because he's back. He's back! He's back! I still haven't added that on my soundboard somehow. Unfor unfortunately not. I did add- I, I, did, add I, I did add this, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. That just happened. Hey, hey dude! I'm gonna give me some- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're just getting off to a great start. Oh, yeah. This is not a bad start either. Well, yeah, then I add a new sound effect. Oh yeah, I added, um... Actually, I didn't add the... You know what? You know what? Um, while you're leveling up your goons, um, I'm going to uh, try and add the pepperoni cheesecake, because I swear I added that. Did I not? Did I not add pepperoni cheesecake? I did add pepperoni cheesecake! Let's go! Alright, let's go in the YouTube poop voices. Because I know Jose wanted me to add pepperoni cheesecake. Pepperoni cheesecake is funny. Yeah, it is. Peroni cheese pack. Pack. Anyways, um, let's see if this will... Yep, my soundboard broke again. Fuck's sake, I hate when that happens. God damn it. Soundboard's so ass. I try to add a sound effect and it shits itself. Alright, Jacob, I'm gonna use something cool. Yeah, something cool. He's so cool. Well, at least I'm gonna waste my Master Crown. On what? On Jeffrey. Oh. Bro, it fucking happened again. Why? <laughs> so what, does he become, like, does he promote? He becomes oh. a Silver Knight. Oh, shit. Damn, okay. Here, let me, let me try again. Dude, I just want to add pepperoni cheesecake soundboard. Let me do that. Hmm, I just realized that Khalil is oh below God. level on out of all the units. Dude, it doesn't so want think... it doesn't want me to add pepperoni cheesecake for some reason. So I think she deserves more level ups. True, we haven't seen her much anyway. Hey, I just like her. What if I do this? Let's try that. Let's see how this sounds. Pepperoni cheesecake. <laughs> I'm just giving her. I'm just giving a little more level ups just because I like her. Yeah, she looks nice. But she's definitely no Heather. I'll say that. Yeah, <laughs> she's not. She's not obsessed with country bumpkin girls. Exactly. Or just any females in general. Pepperoni cheesecake. I think I just I, I think I I think I downloaded like the full ten minutes. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. So that ne is, it never ends. That is completely fine, Jacob. Also, I just realized that Khalil actually has the highest speed out of ev out of any sages. Good. <laughs> She's better than Soren already. Yep, basically. So she's a sage that can double. More like a speedy sage. <laughs> <laughs> roar. Okay, roar arc. <laughs> roar arc. I don't know what voice to give roar, roar arc, but he's he looks funny. <laughs> he, he he looks like uh, your basic bitch character. Yeah, I guess. Are you layabouts done collecting supplies? We don't have all day, dude. No, sir, progress is slow. These people just don't have much. Saw you on an uprising earlier. Fools, Damn. I don't want excuses. Take anything you see, and if these bumpkins complain at all, cut them down. So this guy's... <laughs> so Morty is a fan of... Uprising. Yeah, he's a fan of Kid Icarus Uprising. Because you, you can bet your armor that Senator Val Telme Armstrong will do the same to us if we're not done by the time he arrives. Reporting, sir. Crimean army's approaching from the southwest. It seems to be the royal nice dude. I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> what? You're going to piss yourself? Crimea is moving against us? Those backwater fools. 
All right, keep move, keep working. I'll take several men out to slow their approach. Colonial fools, I'll teach them what it means to defy the empire. <laughs> this fucking guy. Did you voice him? I don't know what his voice was. I I I didn't even voice him. Well, General Jeffrey, we confirmed the presence of the Benyon army in the village ahead of us, way past cool. I would prefer to avoid a fight, but I, but I suppose that decision is up to them. Let's hurry. Well, now he's get the he's getting the Sonic voice now. Yeah, he's getting the Hedgehog voice. The Hedgehog. Wow, wow I am literally limited to six units. Actually, seven. Well, seven, but um, a certain someone died. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it, of course. Yeah. Which, honestly, I just want to keep Marcia. Hey, all I like right, him. all right, you never use that arm scroll. Who deserves the arm scroll the most? Mm, what does arm scroll do again? It levels up weapons. Um, well, who's, who's not maxed out on weapons yet? Um, Jeffrey, I guess. Oh, okay, Jeffrey, I, th I might... Jeffrey might even get the S SS rank. He should get it, because he it's not green. Yeah, and he, he will also get... He's also another candidate for a legendary weapon. Good. Yeah, he got SS lances now. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe that I'm very limited to units. Yeah, yeah. demonetized even. <laughs> yeah, demonized. Yeah, demonized. Like demonite from Terraria. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, well, let's just say Terraria has a lot more ores than Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft, I see. Yeah, Minecraft's boring. Terraria is where it's at, dude. I thought you liked Minecraft. I got bored of it. I don't get it. I'm, I'm not in my Minecraft phase anymore. <laughs> it can just kind of, it's kind of just a thing that comes and goes every now and then. It's like, oh yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a Minecraft mood again, and then it just goes away, and I'm like, man, fuck Minecraft. And then it comes back, and I'm like, oh hell yeah, dude, Minecraft. I don't really feel that way about many games, but Minecraft is kind of one of those. Actually, I feel that way about Cookie Clicker as well. Yeah, but I don't think you'll ever go back to cookie, cookie clicker ever again hey you never know i might my set i'm not gonna like maybe in like two years do, you're not gonna do reactions anymore i'll, I'll tell you that probably not because reactions got so boring and i hated doing them after a while like it like i just did i just got sick of it because like i had to send the playlist to a bunch of people and then i had to wait for them to add shit and then Usually the play like, usually the playlists would end up being like super biased towards one person because someone would add way more videos than others. And then it'd usually just be like the same like content every time. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We we were running out of videos and that's all. We we also yeah, that's also why I got sick of it, because we ran out of videos. I don't think I've had anybody ask about cookie clicker in a while. Like people would be like, oh what happened to cookie clicker? I don't think I've had anybody actually ask me that. But if you are one of those few people who asked that, uh, just know we ran out of shit to do for that series, and that's why Code Clicker is just kind of on hiatus for a long time. Yeah, nobody is spe nobody's doubling us except for Jeffrey. Dang. Yeah, Jeffrey is gonna be goaded in this chapter. He's gonna he's gonna literally carry the whole team. Actually, now that I think about it, so is Marcy. I would think. I mean, he has max speed. But yeah, yeah like, she, I, I, uh, I guess we'll take a hoodie clicker. Like, I, I thought to my, I think I'm thinking to myself right now, I'm like, if I do go back to hoodie clicker, it would probably be in, like, two or three years when the game gets, like, some big updates and then they add new shit to the game. That would incline me to go back to the game, because then, then honestly, at that point, I'd, I'd rather just, like, start a brand new, like, file and, um, you know, get everything all over again, because... Sure, you could just do that. Because it's no fun. It's no fun getting achievements when you have a, like a 100% save file. Because then you just you just get the achievements in like two seconds, and then it's over. And it's not fun. So it's better just do a brand new save, 
Crimean yeah. soldiers, how dare you turn your weapons against us? You'll pay for this betrayal. Men, burn these shanties down to the ground. Show those fools what we do to traitors. I do not realize this guy really hates Shantae. Wow. <laughs> he hates Shantae. How could he? Oh no, they're burning- Oh no, they're burning the houses. Was it even possible to get those items? No. Oh. These were meant to be predetermined, I would think. Ah. Monsters! They've s they're setting the village on fire? Knights, evacuate the villagers and put on... Uh, put out the fire immediately. Oh shit, it's, it's the Nibelheim incident. <laughs> the Nibelheim incident. <laughs> yes. They just want to recreate what happened. Yeah. This pairs. Oh! So I just extinguished the fire. Cool. Oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, and Jeffrey, now, Jeffrey carrying now, again. This is one of the chapters that I might even finish early. We'll see. I, I think I want to keep it. To, I want to keep it around two hours. Oh, shit, he got nice, unnecessary, but thanks. I want to try and keep it under two and a half hours, just because um, you know. It gets really exhausting when we go for like three hours. I don't want to yeah, do that I again. It. I know. So. Oh, now she can double? Maybe that guy's just really pissed slow. <laughs> wow, good to know Astrid still sucks. You know, Jacob, I am really happy that they got this music back. This music? No, I mean the map theme. I don't know, there's been a lot of map themes. I haven't re remembered all of them. This was used in, in the Sky chapter. I mean, in the Sky chapter map. Oh, oh, I love the Sky chapter, even though it kind of dragged on for too long. It was only seven turns. Still felt long. <laughs> but I still... But I still think it's one of the most unique chapters, I will say. Now we need, like... Um, a chapter where we're underwater or something. <laughs> That'd be a cool chapter idea. Or, or at least it should be in the underwater caves. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, because they can't really <laughs> breathe. Wait, did I read that right? Gamble? Yeah. What the fuck is Gamble? Oh, you'll see. I, I, I would think. Hello, sir. Would you like to gamble? Think. Um, so what did that do? <laughs> I am honestly not so sure. Is it just like a 50-50 chance to instantly kill or something? I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, so I got a new charger today. Because yeah. uh, my, my charger box has been acting up. Jacob, I get, I get friggin' uh, chargers that never even works for me because they just, uh, they just, they weren't working that much because they either were dropped in the ground or just, well, they were, they, it ran out of juice. I think in my case it ran out of juice because I've had this charger since 2022 and i've been using it and suddenly like a month ago it stopped charging properly like it would get stuck at like a certain percentage and then like an hour later then it would finally start charging so it has like delayed charging and it doesn't get the power it needs or something so i just said fuck it i'm gonna buy a new charger i wasted like 30 bucks on a charger at walmart and now my phone charges again. It's like at 94% now, I think. Usually chargers what I buy are either freaking 10 or $20. Yeah, I, I kind of wish I got a slightly cheaper one because this one was way too much money. But whatever, I'm just glad I have another charger. Well, actually, this one, I think the reason why this one costed 30 bucks is it has two, it has two USB outlets. Which, it's not bad. The one bad. that I'm using is the USB 3. USB 3. Yeah. Never heard of that. I've heard you of literally have... I've, heard, I've heard of USB A and USB C. 
Oh yeah, USB-C, that's the one that I should have meant. <laughs> the ones that we use for our Nintendo Switch. Yeah, funny you say that. I'm actually using my Switch cable to charge my phone. Interesting. Because it's longer than the phone charging cable, so I'm like, well, I want my phone to be able to go farther, so I just use the Switch one, and then I use my phone one to charge my Pro Controller. My kind wired of backwards. Phone, my wired phone is actually longer than the Switch charger. That's good. I wish I got one. I'd have to buy one separately then, but... I don't know, this one's fine. It, it goes all the way to my bed, which is good enough for me. Oh, I see what Gamble does. What does it do? It lowers... It literally lowers the freaking hit rate. It lowers hit rate, but makes you double? Yes, I think so. Hmm. I mean, if that's the case, that's not terrible. But it but it leaves a lot of risk. I will say that much. Yeah, I typically don't like the luck characters in these games. Like a good example is Setzer from FF6. His whole like gimmick is luck based. <laughs> yeah, luck based is not even is not even a good sign. Never liked that, and it's, uh, it's also why I never liked Tifa's fucking slot machine uh, like limit break either. Hated it can that be shit. Useful to a, it can be useful to a certain degree. It's useful if it works. Damage. But it also does rack up damage, I will say. I don't know. I never used it. I hated using Tifa in FF6. I'll be honest. She's probably better I mean, in FF7 I mean, Remake. Wait, did I say... What did I say? <laughs> you said FF6. Oh, I meant FF7. She's probably better in the Remake. She probably doesn't have her stupid slot machine limit break anymore. Well, she probably <laughs> doesn't. So, she's probably better in FF7 Remake, but in base FF7, I think Tifa sucks. I don't like um, using her. I really hope you play FF7 once the trilogy is completed. I probably will. I'd have to get a PS5 first, but yeah, I could probably play I it I wish on. you could borrow my PS5. <laughs> yeah. Jacob, nice. I'm willing to give you anything. That's no nice. joke, I would I literally done this in the past. I literally gave you gave you games before. Yeah, if I had money to throw around, I'd probably be getting my my friend's stuff too. The funny thing is that I literally have enough money. Right now, recently, I only have like a thousand and eight hundred of in my pocket. Still more than me. I'm broke now. I spent all I spent all my money on groceries. Jacob, I literally spend my money for a month. Yep. I probably spent like a hundred dollars for one month. I spend like two hundred on groceries usually. So that's usually how much I have left over after paying all the bills. Jacob, my parents literally pamper me. That's true. I mean, I know you don't have to pay for bills, so you definitely have a lot left over than me. Yeah, because they literally love me. Yep. Not just because of that, but I have a disability. A real one. Well, I also have a disability, but I'm working towards getting my disability money. Yeah, but mine's is worse than yours. I, I've already said that, that mine's is worse than yours. That's true. So, that's basically what I've been working towards this year, is trying to get on disability so I can get more money. Be double of what welfare gives, which is great. Because quite honestly, welfare out here sucks compared to uh, BC. I got like 200 less dollars a month, which is really bad because I can't afford anything. Because I was I able to spend that 200 extra on like games and stuff. I have enough money to afford a new console. If I say if I can save up enough, I'm good. I'm gonna focus on getting like. PC upgrades first. Like I'm gonna get a new graphics card probably, and, and then you'll get SSD. a new console. And then maybe I'll get a PS5 once I get enough. If and I really need a PS5. Like I don't need one yet, but if I do oh, need yeah, a PS, what do you need it for? Well, I'd want a PS5 to play the FF7 uh, remake trilogy. And I got both of them. That's probably the only thing I'd use a P on my PS5 so far. Pretty cause... sure. I'm pretty sure the PS5 is region-free, I would think. 
Mm, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Literally most literally most PlayStation PlayStation games should be region free. I mean P PlayStation consoles. That's what I meant to say. I mean, yeah, recently they've been at least recently gaming companies have been good about making shit region free. Yeah, but I don't think Nintendo would be willing to do anything that's region free. Nah, the Switch is region free, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, really? Yeah, I know the Wii isn't region free, and the 3DS certainly isn't, but I think the Switch is region free. If, I'm if, right it is, then, if it is, then I'm happy for Nintendo. Much like they hate AI. I mean, you can literally make you can literally make a Japanese Nintendo account, and you can buy Japanese games. <laughs> ah, okay, I see where this is going. I mean, I can't tell if that's an exploit or if that's a genuine thing they meant, but you can do that. I've done it. That's how I got um, that's how I got the Kirby uh, Star Allies demo like a day early, and I also got the Persona Five Scramble uh, demo as well. But it was only in Japanese, so I couldn't understand anything. And I never finished that demo, so... Hang up, I will learn Japanese someday, if I ever feel like it. Yeah, you could, uh, go get fucking Duolingo or something and do what my girlfriend does. <laughs> Just saying that I will speak Japanese eventually to understand the game's language. I mean, the original language. Yeah, that's probably the only reason I'd want to learn Japanese, is to understand games that are in Japanese only. Yeah. But I can't. I, mean, I can't be Arsenal at it, honestly. <laughs> maybe it can be better than translations. Maybe, but it it can depend. Well, I mean, there are people who, you know, complain about localizations, and which say honestly, like the Japanese script was better. Understandable. I mean, honestly, I could understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Because local translations are tend tend to be bad. Ooh, that's lucky. Surprised that guy lived. But will Marcia ever live? There's gonna be too many reinforcements, so I think it's best if I try to clear this chapter as quick as possible. Yeah, reinforcement chapters are annoying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there they come. Oh no. oh no! Oh no, the building is down. I don't think that's... I don't think you'll get a penalty for that. I mean, if, if there was a penalty, it probably would have just given you the game over screen. Yeah, I guess. Come on, Marcia, give me strength! No. I just want Marcia to get, get strength. But yeah, I am having a lot of fun with the PS3 Neptunia, surprisingly. Even like, though the game even though the gameplay actually ages poorly. Like, I, I'm aware that, like, yeah, the gameplay isn't anything special. It's not bad, it's just kind of, you know, generic. It's like, you know, you press buttons, they do attacks, and you just pray that you have better stats than the enemies. That's all there is to the gameplay. It doesn't get any deeper than that. What I'm trying to say is that the gameplay just aged poorly. Well, and also because it's the only Neptunia game to have random encounters, which is a bit rough. I don't think any game in, like, post-2000s should have random encounters. Random encounters only work in the 90s. Well, the only reason why we had random encounters is because we couldn't display, like, a bunch of NPCs on the map that well. Even though Earthbound did that just fine, Earthbound had enemies on the map just fine. That's because Earthbound was uh, was very unique. Well, and Secret of Mana doesn't have random encounters either, so it, for all the shit you gave Secret of Mana, you can at least give it that. It doesn't have random encounters. <laughs> I get it. I, I get that, but still... Although I do think Legend of Mana has random encounters, because that's a Game Boy game, I'm pretty sure. Just leave, just let, just leave GB games alone, since they they literally try to. Th there there are good G Game Boy games. I mean, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, there are there are games that you know can get the encounter thing right. And that's the thing I like about the modern Neptunias is that 
they don't have random encounters. There's just enemies walking around on the field, and if you want to fight them, you can. And if you don't, then you can just say fuck you and leave. Jacob, people really enjoy Mario Land, especially two. Well, and we did do a we did do a playthrough of Mario Land two. Yes, finally. <laughs> Something good. Well, and I've actually not done a Mario Land playthrough on my channel. So, maybe I should do that. You should do more Mario Land. I'll do Mario Land... I'll do Mario Land 1. I also need to play Wario Land 1. <laughs> Never played... Yeah. I haven't done that basically, on the channel. Basically, technically, Mario Land 3. Mario Land 3. And then I also need to play Virtual Boy Wario Land, which I'm probably gonna do next year. Or this December, even. Which might be the time that I might replay Xeno, Xeno Gears. Sure, you do, you man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying that I, I will replay that game because I just missed that game already. I get it. You're feeling nostalgia already. No, not just that, but it's more personal. I will say. <laughs> you, you need, you need, you need something good after the shit fest that was Xeno Saga Two. <laughs> yeah, and I just can't wait to play Xeno Saga Three. Which has the best of both worlds, gameplay and story. I just wish that there were more games that has the both the best gameplay and story. Hmm. But I digress because it doesn't have to be that way. For me, for me that, that like... for me that'd be TTYD. Well, I don't know. The only the only thing I don't like about TTYD is the backtracking and the um unskippable cutscenes. <laughs> but those are just small gripes since I've played TTYD like a hundred times, so only I'm gonna notice things like that. Jacob, I love Xeno Gears' battle system because it's really unique. Mm. It's unique because because it doesn't have to be a typical turn-based RPG. Well, yeah. Recently, I've been kind of digging, you know, the non-turn-based RPG stuff. I like it when, uh... I like it when the RPG system, you know, is... I like when they spice it up, you know? They do, like, um... You know, like, you approach the enemy, and you have, like, a certain amount of, like, points to attack the enemy. In fact, I think that's why I like the Neptunia battle system so much in the PS3 version. Like... I know it's not good, but the one thing I think is really cool about it is you get a limited number of attacks per turn. And you have to you have to be like, you know, wise about what attacks you use because each attack costs like a different amount of points. For Xeno Gears, uh it's unique because there there are two different battle systems. One is your typical turn base, but but it's more than just a typical turn base. It actually focuses on you know it also focuses on button combos. What, like Street Fighter? No, but it's it just focuses on buttons, not not analogs. So what, so, like you have to press like I don't know, like X X square and do a like yeah. a move or something. Yes, like that. Oh and yeah, I, I like that can, actually. But sometimes you can even trigger a special move for specific button combinations. Like, there are so many ways that you can... There are so many moves that you could just try to discover. Okay, actually, I really like that. And the second form of battle system is that you get into fighting machines. Basically, mechas. So, you can play, uh... I don't know. It's like it's, it's like a custom robo then. <laughs> you could say that, but it's more like a fighting robo, if anything else. I mean, you know what custom robo is. Yes, I do know what what that means. I mean, that's that's that's, that's a very anime thing. Have big robot battles. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully, they're better than the paper craft battles from Paper Jam. In the 90s, Mecha was a pretty popular thing. Mm, hell, I think it's still popular. No, I don't think it was as big as it used to be. 
And again, Beyblades were popular, and those went out of style too. Let it rip, dude. Well, well, I mean, in the sh well, I mean, in the show, it literally just in the show of Beyblade, they just make the Beyblade seem overpowered and stuff <laughs> by using by using mythological creatures or gods. I like I, I just love the sentence Beyblades being overpowered. <laughs> what makes you say that? It just sounds funny. Well, I mean, not overpowered, but just powerful in general. Oh, well. Oh. Looks like we're not saving any of these houses today. Nope. Ar yeah, arson like... is cool, guys. Well, it looks like freaking Jeffrey has to clean up the mess. Because we are getting so many reinforcements. And I have to end this quickly. Yeah, damn it, guys. Why I gotta keep showing up? The, the, the place is already burnt down. What the fuck? What, you, what, what more do you need, bro? Well, Jacob... Jeffrey is literally carrying this battle. Yeah, if it weren't for Jeffrey, this would be a bullshit mode chapter, I'm sure. But I digress because I, I at least level up my units fairly well. I just want Marcia to get strength. <laughs> Except for Astrid, we don't care about her, apparently. Yeah, nobody cares about Astrid, even though she can level up quickly, I don't think that matters. Well, no, she doesn't level up quickly because she you took um that thing off of her, <laughs> didn't you? What do you mean, Paragon? Oh, no, okay, never mind. She is. Uh, but I was gonna say, like, you, you could take you could take Paragon off of her and give it to someone else. Like Laguzes. True. Yeah, like Laguzes. If there are any good Laguz units that you want. The only There's thing, the, like, the only thing that makes Astrid good is the fact that she comes with Paragon. But you take that away from her, and she just becomes shit. Yeah, she does become terrible. So, yeah. I could at least compliment that she has freaking Paragon. Yeah, that's like the only good thing. <laughs> yeah, I have like three bucks left in my checking accounts. I'm so sorry that, that you have very little. But I will. That does mean I could. That Ooh, still does. Speedwing! Oh, yes, I, I got Speedwing. But I could, oh, you know I could go to Timmy's tomorrow and get a donut, so that's something. You know what? I am definitely going to give this to Khalil. Let's see the results, and... Yes! That, that, that is what I... That's, that's what I intent, intentionally want to do. <laughs> she is going to double. Constantly. Yeah, take that, Soren. Now, Even though her magic is kind of low. I'm just getting reminded of last episode where Soren refused to get speed level ups. Yeah, he he's <laughs> not in the mood for a need of speed. Yeah. Yes! Thank you, Dev Dan! <laughs> <laughs> he's the man. He is the man. Looks like I'm going to clear this chapter easily. Right now. Right now. Right there. Jacob, I could also argue that the freaking Crimean army is way better than the Dawn Brigade. Yeah. At least how they perform. Well, yeah, let's say tier list wise, uh, the Grail Mercenaries top tier, middle tier be the Crimean army, and then bottom tier would be the Dawn, the Dawn Mid Gay or whatever the fuck we called them. The Mid Gay? The Mid Gay. The, the Mid Gay. I usually call them the mid brigade, but we're gonna call them the mid gade. The mid gay. <laughs> well, we lose so many houses. Fantastic. Buy, buy, we don't care. buy houses. I don't care about your houses. You know, I'll, I'll go bug them and say we're doing Radiant Dawn. Who? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go bug Zeppi and say we're doing Radiant Dawn. Sure, you can do that. Also, he sent me a funny video, and it just says Michael Rosen <laughs> describes Neptunia games. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, ha I'll have to watch that later. I forgot right, to watch can... it. Alright, you can do that. I forgot, I had like my phase where I thought Michael Rosen memes were like the funniest thing. I mean, honestly, I really don't get the appeal of Michael Rosen. 
I, it's just stupid because like it's so it honestly like the Michael Rosen memes are like such brain rot, but I, I find it funny anyways. <laughs> well Whatever. Brain rot brain rot is brain brain rot. Yeah, you guys know how I feel with brain rot, it's not good. Literally literally <laughs> TikTok in a in a nutshell is brain rot. What if it's funny brain rot? Well, that's how I describe Michael Rosen. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a lot of YouTube is just brain rot these days. Like, tier li all those tearless videos that pop up, that's brain rot. What well, if it's tearless from good YouTubers that you know, such as Gnarly? Still brain rot. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, I just watch it because I have nothing else to watch, and because, you know, I want something to watch while I'm eating my chicken wrap or whatever. I almost said chicken sandwich. Jacob, I literally have some of the best chicken wraps I've got. Hmm. It might give my it might give my own homemade chicken wraps competition. You should like I said, you should try to make buffalo with ranch. Yeah, it just tastes I amazing. I tried searching for it at Walmart, I didn't really know what to look for, so I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah, just get a just get a separate combination of ranch and buffalo sauce. Yeah, I tried to find ranch, and I couldn't find it, and I didn't know what, what, what buffalo looked like, either. Buffalo sauce is just orange, uh, hot sauce. Oh. Hmm. It's really easy to come by. I should probably update my, uh, shopping list anyway. You know what I just find out, Jacob? What? There's actually ch 10 locations of Chick-fil-A in Canada. Only ten? <laughs> yeah. They're just below in the east of Canada. Where are they? Toronto? Well, I don't live in Toronto. <laughs> I know. That's that great. Right. If every if fucking Toronto gets everything. Why does Toronto get everything? Because that's where the capital of Canada is. Hmm. So of course it gets everything. Basically, um, Toronto is like the it's like the Texas of of Canada, I guess. I don't know. Basically, it's the most popular place in yeah. Canada. Yeah. What's the most popular place in the U.S.? Is it Texas? No, it's either it could be various things like or, it could be New York, New York, or maybe Washington or California. No, not really. Well, yeah, California is one of them. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like the it's like the California or maybe the maybe the uh, maybe the Hollywood. Of, That's uh, it. Yeah, pretty even Nevada because it has Las Las Vegas. Yeah, I kind of like that. Actually, you know what? I take it back. Vancouver is the New York of Canada because it's so f or not New York. It's the Hollywood of Canada because it's so fucking expensive, and that's where all of like the films are filmed and shit. I mean, Las Vegas, I'm not sure which one could represent Las Vegas in Canada. Uh, I don't know. But let's just say Hollywood and Vancouver are, like, parallel to each other. Because Vancouver, if I'm not mistaken, is the most expensive place in Canada to live in. <laughs> I've heard much of Vancouver. I mean, I lived near Vancouver my whole life, so I would know. Yeah, neither would I. I wouldn't even... I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even know freaking... Uh... Either New York. I mean, one of some some of my some of my families, at least one of them, they do live in they do live in New York. But I would I would also digress because I wasn't even in New York. I stayed in my freaking hometown for so long that I never even been been to any country. I mean, into any states. I mean, from what I've heard, I feel like. Also, Zeppi's here. From what I've heard, I feel like New York is just kind of one of those places where you have to like be born there to really understand it. Otherwise, if you go visit New York, you'll just be like, bro, this place is gross. Why do people live here? <laughs> yeah, that would be my same feeling if I ever went to New York. Like, and, it's also, and it's also cold there. I mean, I'd see that as a pro because I like cold places. <laughs> Why would you see that as a pro if New York is is freaking cold because i like i like the cold it's too fucking hot right now the summer sucks it's 30 degrees like every day right now i enjoyed enjoy the summer 
Yeah, but that's because you- that's because you are the opposite. You like- you like the warmth and not the cold. Jacob, so. my parents- my- one of my parents used to live in the freaking in a desert-like country. Yeah, see, now that- I- I would die. I would- I would literally melt. <laughs> Cry me and not crib it, critting. Fake game. Well, I mean, one of them did crit. <laughs> but enough about you. Yeah. Let's talk about me, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Dev Dan, freaking, even Astrid did crit. Yeah, a okay. 27 crit. Okay, Jacob, I'm just gonna end this chapter right now. Yeah, it took you 42 minutes. <laughs> really? That doesn't sound bad. Eh, it's better than the usual one to two, one to one and a half hours that it takes. Dog of Crimea, I'll crush you. This is chapter nine, I think? Yeah, it's chapter 9. So we can get chapter 9 and 10 done today, at the very least. And maybe we can check out chapter 11. It depends how long... It depends how fast chapter 10 goes. Because I'm not in the mood to go for more than two and a half hours. Yeah, neither would I. Because I already streamed twice today. If you didn't stream, maybe we would have had time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is part three. This just we're playing the Crimean army right now. We're taking a backseating from the Dawn Brid mid mid gay ass fuckers and the um hey, and the Grail mercenaries. The, but hey, at least the freaking Crimean army is good. They're well, it's got Devdan in it, so that's already uh, an improvement <laughs> over the Dawn Brid mid gay. We we have we have freaking Marcia and Marcia. She's cute. And Khalil. And we got, She's cool. Yeah, because, yeah, I really love Kil Khalil so much. Huh, she can't even double. Hmm. Oh well. She has a high chance to survive. Bro's almost dead already. Lol. See? She she can survive. <laughs> the Grail mer the Grail merchants that kills everyone. The Grail Merchants? I, that's my favorite team. <laughs> nice typo, yeah, Zeppi. <laughs> yeah, same. It, yeah, same. It's my favorite team, the, gr <laughs> the Grail Merchants. They're, they're, they're amazing. The Grail Merchants just compose of a bunch of merchants from Resident Evil 4. They, they just go, what are you buying? <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> that's a lot of good things for sale. I'm gonna sell you a SS weapon, stranger. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> I gotta steal a lance, cool. And he's go- What oh, the- Bro. Great. Wait, that's not a typo? Oh. You, you, you gotta crit this guy or he's gonna keep fucking healing. Use the killer lance, yeah. Oh. Oh, never mind. Have Marcia do it. She can do it. Or, or, I or, yeah, maybe Jeffrey can do it. Yeah, he can. Have Marcy and Khalil, like, double-team him. Darren, Darren. Oh shit, he did a oh, lot of that, damage. That is pretty bad. I think Jeffrey would... would manage to kill him. Yeah, but he needs to get over there is the problem. Well... I'm going to fall back. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall back. <laughs> or, or the yellow units are going to go up there. Hey, they healed Marcia. Thank goodness I have. I have you... freaking. I have allies. 25%. Oh, I... oh, I might have an idea. Ooh. I am Jeffrey, the commander of the Crimean Royal Units. Do you command these men? Knight of Crimea, you are clearly guilty of treason against the Benyon Arm Empire. Do you understand what it means to send an army against us? You've just killed your people. You have been warned. Queen Ilintia will not accept any further acts of violence or banditry within our borders. Withdraw your troops immediately, or I, can I cannot guarantee your safety in return. Decide quick. How dare you take that tone with me? I'll put you in your place. Damn, Jeffrey's cool. 
Yeah, yeah. he's dead. He's fucking he is literally dead. dead. <laughs> Damn. Well, he did I... say he cannot guarantee his safety. Honestly, Jacob, I think the Brave Lance is really useful. The Empire will not forget this. Once our main forces arrive, they'll slaughter you like cattle. <laughs> yeah, the... I said slaughter. Every... <laughs> you know, Jacob, the friggin' Brave... The friggin' Brave Spear and Jeffrey, he, he, he literally carried through. Which is... Honestly, this is not a surprise. Jeffrey got this a huge buff. A... Jeffrey got a huge buff from Path of Radiance. Holy shit. Oh, he did. That's thanks to the third tier class. Yeah. Good. The enemy is retreating. Knights, stay here and help fix the damage done to this village. Yeah, th there was a lot of damage, unfortunately. Good work, Jeffrey. You sent them running. Lucia, what are you doing here? I'm here to protect Her Majesty. Yeah, with her badass, um, short hair. Yeah, true. But like I said, I really, I really love freaking Lucia's short hair. Superb work, Jeffrey. You have my thanks. Your Majesty, forgive me. I could not avoid the confrontation of the Imperial Army. You know, I feel like I feel like once we get to the narrator, he's gonna be like, he's gonna say, he's gonna say his name really weirdly. He's gonna be like Joffrey <laughs> or something. <laughs> that might happen. I, I that call, I'm happen. calling it. It wasn't your fault, Jeffrey. However, I'm afraid our situation continues to Delorean. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a weapon that has the brave effect and is one to two range with fifteen might. That that might happen. It could happen. Lucia, I appoint you as envoy to negotiate the treaty with the commander of the Imperial Army. They will they will be willing to listen right now. More like the Liberian Army. I shall leave immediately, Your Majesty. Oh, it feels nice to have an actual short chapter for a change. Days yeah. later, Castle Crimea. Days later. <laughs> He's back, Sir oh, Valtom. Oh, this fucking guy. Senator Valtom Armstrong, I regret having to meet under these circumstances. Oh, I completely disagree. I mean, agree, Your Majesty. I never dreamed we'd suffer so much mistreatment from our allies. So you've decided that Crimea will side with Gallia and honor the alliance with those filthy subhumans over ours. As I've said, Crimea remains neutral. Crimea will never, will neither side with Bengnion nor the Lagus Alliance. That is my final answer. Oh, then please enlighten me. Why prevent us from getting what we needed? Bengnion is your suzerain. You should be delighted to comply with our request for supplies. But instead, you launch an ambush and inflict horrible pain on us, your loving guardians. Now, Benin is a patient parent, but I do hope you realize that your actions thus far have amounted to treason and sedition. You have violated our borders, stolen from my people, and inflict harm upon them. I will not allow such actions with my lands, no matter who who the aggressor may be. How oh, quaint! <laughs> Your Majesty, do you know what the penalties are for the crimes you've committed? I can only assume you do not, or you would not so rashly endanger your life. But don't worry, Queen Lancia. Once Benyon has your crown, along with your head, removed for treason, I'm sure we'll take very good care of your people. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> Dude. He's just there now. S Senator Valtom. I think after the dust has settled, I'll place my portrait right over your throne. Mm hmm. It was a pleasure chatting with your majesty. I'm leaving now. She's all yours, General. Your Majesty, please forgive my superior officer's insolence. 
Wait, I recognize you. You came to our aid some time ago during the Mad King's War. General Zelgis, was it? Yes, your majesty. This is the second time I've had your honor seeing you. I sincerely apologize for the army's actions during the supplementary operation. Please forgive us. The Benyon Empire and the Apostle gave us much support in your reconstruction effort. Crimea will always appreciate Benyon's generosity. However, Crimea and Gallia are allies. As such, we cannot take side in this quarrel. Please understand. I understand, Your Majesty. Our forces will refrain, refrain from l Lev... L Levy? I think it's levying. Levying? Supply while in Crimea. Thank you for understanding. However, I must ask you to agree on those two points. First, the Imperial Army shall be given leave to pass through Crimea towards Gallia. Second, we, sh we shall be allowed to engage the Gallian mm. army in towns near the Crimean Gallia border. He said engage. Excuse me? This peace talk is meaningless. You will still do battle and spill blood within our borders? Ew. I'm afraid this is the best I can offer. It's sometimes necessary to cut your losses for the greater good. Please think on it. Tomorrow my army will begin marching towards Gallia. If the Crimean army does not interfere, I will take it as sign of agreement. Farewell, Your Majesty. General Sel, just please wait! Does the Apostle know anything about this war with the Lagoose? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It's just very hard for me to believe. Is this war truly the will of the Apostle? That is not for me to answer, Your Majesty. Then at least tell me, is the Apostle safe? Excuse me, I must go. Whoop! General! General! General Zelgis. Bro really just dropped an ultimatum and said bye, see ya. <laughs> he just didn't want to say anything, since it's something that's bothering him. After Alencia's meeting with Valtome, the Crimean royal knights returned to the capital of Melior. Matador. <laughs> between Crimea and Gallia, completely undefended. The Benyan Central Army crosses the border once more, but Crimea makes no move to march against it. Valtome sees this inaction as a sign of Crimea's capitulation to Benyan's demands. The Benyan forces occupy the Crimean castles and forts on the border with Gallia and prepare to launch their attack. The Lagoos Alliance finally makes its way back. There to they are. But word of Benyan's approach allows them no time for rest. The news that Gallia's ally Crimea has allowed Benyan to travel through its lands comes as a great blow to the Lagoos Alliance. All right, chapter 10. The heart of Crimea. Yeah, I think we could probably do like one more chapter. All right. Castle sure. Gallia. According to our scouts, the enemy is split into two forces, man. One's east of the Earth's mountains. Oh, look, a button. Hey, look, it's, it's the Lion King. The other's approaching from the north by crossing through Crimea. So they, so they plan on fl flaking Gallia from the north and east. If we don't stop them, this is gonna hurt. Just like my reputation for <laughs> F-Zero. Agreed. What is the Crimean army doing? From what the scouts have said, nothing at all. I'm guessing they're waiting to see how everything pans out, mate. Wait, oh yeah, alright, I was doing the Skipper voice, not the Skinner voice anymore. Eh, Crimea and let Benyon pass without a fight. What about their alliance with Gallia? It's not that simple, Skipper. Benyon is Crimea's suzerain state. It's difficult for Crimea to refuse Benyon's demands. Uh, Suze what? 
Someone explain to me what that means. <sighs> How can I explain? Alright, how's this? Benyon still holds political power over countries that want independence from them. Anything you want to add, Ike? Don't look at me. I've always thought the whole idea was ridiculous. Never mind what it means. Has Crimea broken its treaty with us? Not as such. I didn't say it was right. Just that it was complicated. It's not complicated at all. Crimea has betrayed Gallia. We cannot let this pass. How did... I don't know who that is. <laughs> Roll yourself, Skimmer. I mean, Skipper. You're acting like a fool. Oh, it's his dad. <laughs> My apologies, Your Majesty. It is just... I doubt that Crimea has sided with Benyon. Queen Alintia is very clever, and I will not stop trusting her judgment just yet. She most likely allowed the Imperial Arm Army to pass through her lands in order to avoid slaughter. Ooh. Who's Betty? Who's the Who's the Barak Queen who warrants us much trust? Please enlighten us. She's a delightful woman, but in both manner and reign. Her late father, King Ramon, and I forge an alliance between Barak and Lagoos, so we sought to bring peace to our peoples closer. You know, we should start calling him King Timon. <laughs> The other and character why? from the Lion King. <laughs> why? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be funny. I'd imagine why. All gross. Well, I'm gonna throw something in the trash. Wait, what? <laughs> there were. Well, I just have. Well, I just have somebody's food. Specifically, oh. my father. Specifically, my father's food, and it was a burger. Burger. Well, here. Well, you know what, guys? I'll show you. I'll show you something that's not gross, real quick. Take a look at that. Minty-haired summer boobleth. <laughs> that's not gross. That's that's quite opposite, actually. Yeah. Saucy. Spicy, even. Minty, maybe. <laughs> You want to know what's in that burger? What? It was filled with the normal kinds, you know, friggin' bacon, uh, cheese, and the friggin' hamburger meat. But mm. in there, it was just ketchup, mayonnaise, and uh, what what else was in there? And uh, and uh, friggin' mustard. That was it. <laughs> there was no meat in there. Yeah, there was. Oh. Well, I don't like mayo, but, so I probably wouldn't like that. Honestly, mayo is really gross, at least to me. Yeah, I don't know, know why people like mayo. Yeah, neither do I. Every time when I look at mayo and somebody eats it, I actually was close to vomiting. Yeah, you probably you probably sounded like this. <laughs> no, I was more like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like that. Nah, the, the, well, the Leon sound is as close as it's gonna get. Yeah, maybe, but still, I really, but still, I really don't like freaking mayo. It literally reminds me of something else. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it literally reminds me of something that's really gross. All right, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, you probably know where I'm where I'm going with this. Ooh, wait, 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 wait! Zappy sent me even better sauce. He sent me Pepsi. Oh, yeah. yeah, Pepsi and yeah. and Boobleth. Boobleth. I want the Pepsi. Give me the Pepsi. Honestly, I think Pepsi. Honestly, I think Pepsi is way better than Minty Boobleth. Yeah, Pepsi. Pepsi's a way better protagonist. Yeah, pretty much. Although and... that's not really a hard bar to cross, considering how mid Midleth is. Because she can't even talk. She can't I mean, the talk. only t the only time that she could actually speak is in Three Hopes. The only time she could talk is when she sang Miracle in Smash all the time. I wasn't even joking. She was... Violet is actually voice acted, fully voice acted in Three Hopes. Damn, bro, that's crazy. I mean, technically, he's also voiced in Engage, but I don't really want to count that. Neither do I, but... But the thing is that Violet wasn't even the main character in, in, in friggin' Three Hopes. 
Yeah, it's an it's a it's, a, it's another mid character. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? She says. No, her name is Shez. I'm gonna keep calling her She says because that's way funnier. <laughs> People could argue that Shez is better than Byleth. <laughs> it's definitely Hokton, guys. Definitely. So yeah, three the main the pro, main protagonist of Three Hopes, She says. You can't commit convince yeah. me otherwise. <laughs> And the funny thing about yesterday is that I actually had Cherry Coke yesterday. Man, I want Cherry Coke now. Why did I not sell it in Canada, bro? I... I don't know. There's... There might be something wrong with the person who's leading... Canada. Or oh. something. Well, let's not get political now. <laughs> yeah, let's... Yeah, let's not get political. We don't... Talk about... Weird... Politic thingies. In our stream, we're just here to have fun. Yeah, there's, we, a, there's enough politics in Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn as is. <laughs> exactly. To me, politics only work in fiction, not in real life. Yeah. Because, you know, world building and stuff. Exactly. Anyways, she has taken her friend's ID, her father's ideals as her own and strives to create a country where. Anyone, Barak or Lagoose, can live free and peacefully. Fantasy! Cowabunga, dude. How many times have we changed? I never I never could have dreamed of a time where such Barak rulers would exist. I must admit, I still have doubts, dude. But Cowabunga! Holy shit, the family is here. I don't blame you, my brother. Change has been slow, but the circle of acceptance in Talius has been widening, okay? As you can see, be this, both Luan and I have many Barak friends. Queen Alincia of Crimea is one of them. But the king and the and Mr. Van Driesen speak well of this woman. Is she truly so special? She truly is. But right now, that's besides the point. The most important thing is, Alincia will never betray her allies at Gallia. I couldn't agree more. We can trust her. Alright, let's assume for now that Crimea will not aid the, uh, the Empire in any military fashion during this conflict. Captain Falcon, let's hear your thoughts. Yeah! Yeah! Well, if Crimea won't make a move, besides to show me the moves, <laughs> then, then I can see no reason to wait until the Empire reaches Gallia. I prefer to take any army up north and end for this mess for good. Well, then, very well. Ike, do the Grail mercenaries have anything to add? I agree with Tabarn, I mean Captain Falcon's idea. We should strike while their army is split in half. Well, at least they, at least they didn't say strike while the iron's hot, because that's like the most overused fucking like, line I've ever heard in a game. <laughs> I wonder what that means, though, since I haven't even heard it. It basically just means, like, take the opportunity while you have it. Oh, okay, now I fully understand it. Well, at least. well it means more like... You know, they're vulnerable. Let's let's go right now, you know, while they're vulnerable. Okay, let's go with that. I'm pretty sure that General Zelgis will be there, though. We'd better be careful. Very well. Captain Falcon, may I ask that your forces protect the eastern borderlines, just like what happens in Star Wars. While they do that, I would like to lead... Our strike forces to northern border. Take Ranulf with you as well. Send me to your majesty. Please, let me reclaim my honor. I beg you. I second that, your majesty. Skip is perfect for this mission. Ranulf? Very well. Will you look after him, Captain Falcon? Sure, I can handle him. He's easier to keep under control than you are, Lion King. <laughs> he said it! He actually he called said... him Lion King? 
He's screenshotting that. You know what, Jacob? Just for that, I wish. You know, Jacob, if this, if the Lion King song wasn't copyrighted, claim we would have played. <laughs> That's so perfect. Hmm. And he's all yours. Now, everyone, prepare to leave before daybreak. We are all depending on you. He's canonically the Lion King, <laughs> according to uh, according to Radiant Dawn. You know, it would have been funny if we actually did play the Lion King theme. Holy shit, it's um, it's a cutscene with uh, holy shit, Satori, Satori from from Toho. Greatest moment, g g greatest moment of all time. That's what we call the. That's what we call the gamote. <laughs> Gamote, greatest moment of all time. Oh, I'm sure it is the greatest moment ever made. Or Gmote. G Gmote, yeah. The greatest moment of all time. Yo, Nephany and Rom. My favorite yeah. duo in gaming. Next to Mario, yeah. Luigi, and um, maybe some others I probably forgot about. Oscar, Oscar, Nandi, that's only man. Nice little pun on the Moscow Moscow song. Yeah, you already knew. <laughs> you already knew the melody of what I'm going for. Yeah, I know that song. At this point, most people do know. Huh, so I did max out their support. Cool. I don't think they can strike him because they haven't been in much battles together recently. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Now it's time to manage. Giving Eliana the experience. She got some d deef, lots of deef for our girl Eliana. And she's gonna promote. She's an arch sage. An arc sage. Or arc. Sure, why not? And he doesn't even get strength. How cool is that? Sakurai says that game updates don't mean anything if the if the base game isn't good. <laughs> well, there are some things that he might be right about. I mean, he's right. You know, people typically praise game updates. Even like, though, um, you know, the the base game has to be good. Otherwise, updates for a game just end up meaning, like, you know, content that should have been. She's a true blade! Yep, or she's whatever. a true blade, alright. <laughs> whatever that means. She's basically a higher sword master. But why is it called true blade? <laughs> that still doesn't answer my question. Well, all I can say is that she can literally master swords. Heh, <laughs> you said master sword. Well, anyways, like I was saying, um... A, a good example <laughs> is Mario Strikers Battle League. The base game is absolute dog shit, and all of these quote-unquote updates and DLC are just things that should have been in the game at launch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Like, I think, like, in Smash Ultimate's case, they could have had Joker there on launch. Because, you know, Joker, you know, he t it takes a lot of rights and, you know, papers to get him into the game. I could also argue that freaking Piranha Plant shouldn't be DLC. Okay, that's that's just weird, but yeah. I think I think, yeah, because... I, I think they just wanted an excuse to, to do, like, the whole, like, pre-order bonus thing. My point is, Jacob, is that... Prana Plant should at least Prana Plant should at least be on the base game rather than DLC. Well, I got I pre-ordered the game, so I got them for free, so I don't really care. <laughs> Jacob, my point my point still stands though. He he Prana Plant should have been in the base game rather than DLC. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Hello. We got so we got a bird. Leanne? Pirate bird. <laughs> Pirate bird and good bird. 
Wait, she gets she gets sauce? I didn't know that. That's good to know though. I, I appreciate that. Even even wholesome characters like Leanne get sauce. <laughs> Great. Plant being DLC was horrible, let alone not be in the game. He's mid. Oh, Jacob, he I would at least Jacob, I would at least be okay if the freaking plant was in the base game. Uh they could That's have you know at the very least they could have made plant like I don't know. If 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 they should have done the Rosalina method, where he should either be um, DLC, a pre-order bonus, or make it so that you have to 100% World of Light to get him, or something stupid like that. Like, at least make it make there be a way to get him without, um, you know, having to pay for him. I'm gonna sell some stuff. I mean, look at all these concoctions you're not using. <laughs> I mean, you never know, I might use them. Yeah, I guess. But I might sell some Vulnaries. Yeah. I don't think you need the ones on Mordecai. <laughs> yep. Yeah, seriously, what is a Satori sign? Why do you have that? Not, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently you can't even sell it, so, yeah. I'm gonna. Now this might be a spicy take, but I think um, you should sell corrosion. <laughs> oh yeah, why? Because you're not using it. <laughs> and I don't know what, what is Wild Heart. Maybe okay. Search up what Wild Heart does. All right. Uh, Fire Emblem Wiki. What does Wild Heart do? Mm. Let's see. Allows Lagoos to immediately transform, but with only 1.5 times stats instead of 2 times. That doesn't sound good at all. So it basically lets you transform at the start of the map, but with only 50% of your stats instead of 100%. Yeah, that's worth selling. Yeah, probably not good. <laughs> you don't want to. You, you usually don't want to limit your Lagoose's stats. <laughs> the world light requirement sounds dumb as hell. I know it sounds dumb, but you know what? It's about as dumb as having to play through the entirety of um, subspace to get Sonic. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at least Sonic was a surprise. At least Sonic's cool. Plant's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm s yeah, I'm sorry. Plan is not is is not that much of an interesting character. I mean, to be fair, at the end of World of Light, you do get Palutena and Bayonetta, which is cool, I guess. Yeah, because both of them are from the freaking light and dark world. Yeah. At least on the freaking third map of the game. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I meant. I don't know. I feel yeah, like I, I would I would have minded if there were more like I feel like games that have multiple ways to unlock characters is really cool. So like you don't have to do the shitty method if you don't want to, but you have the option to. Not, not melee though. You have to play those twenty hours of gameplay to get Mewtwo. <laughs> uh, Jacob, you can em Jacob, you could actually emulate to. Reduce the 20 hours for four players. I know. Or just, or just get a cheat code. <laughs> Mine is not real. Mine is used to use to glaze on plants. Okay, Jacob, with, with four hours of, I mean, with four controllers and play freaking melee, with with four with four people, it reduces to four hours. Huh? Didn't know it worked that way. What do you mean glaze? I mean, <laughs> what do you mean glaze I mean, on plant? I mean, Jacob, you could at least watch like three or two movies <laughs> while you wait. For, while you wait for the freaking two hours to end. Yeah, kind of, kind of like how I watched Inside Out two last Saturday. Have you even watched the first movie? Yeah, I watched that a few weeks ago with my girlfriend, and then we watched the second one like last Saturday. All right. So now I've officially seen the Inside Out duology. <laughs> it's 
so that's great. You haven't seen that much Pixar movies recently. Not really, because most of them are mid. Yeah. Insects of Benyon will show you the power of the Beast Tribe! We're the not, 2000s not insects. The 2000s really peaked for Pixar. Mm. Well, how about when we start the map, we can talk about good Pixar movies. Okay. Barrock scum for the raising of our homes will make you wish you'd never been born. Good lord. Filthy subhumans, this war ends now. Prepare yourself, please. A barrack army is approaching from the hills of left. That flag gets the Crimean army, dude. Crimea intends to side with the Empire after all. Lincia, what are you doing? Oh, crap. <laughs> Finally, they see the light and are coming to fight with us. Excellent. Took them long enough. I suppose when you have the brain of a gnat, these things take some time to sink in. I am Queen of Elincia of Crimea. I have a message for the commanders of both armies. I am here to declare the will of Crimea and its people. Crimea has been ruled under the ideals of peace and equality. I mean, equity? Equality? Yeah, you said it right. Since the reign of my father, King Raman. <laughs> Raman. As such, I cannot and will not allow you to spill blood upon our land. Therefore, I demand both the La Lagoose Alliance and the Imperial Army leave Crimea at once. Withdraw troops, you foolish girl. We will not be ordered about the proclamations of a peasant like you. Puppet rulers such as yourself should stay inside their pretty castles and play dress up. Benyon's patience is worn out. After we finish slaughtering the subhumans, we'll be coming for you in Melior. Commander of the Lagoose Army, how do you respond? <laughs> I am Queen of Valencia of Crimea. Thanks, Joe. Jose. Right. You have some serious guts to reject my offer for F Zero GX, jumping into the middle of our of a battlefield all yours all by yourself. But your high and mighty beliefs don't change the fact that Benyon must answer for its crimes. Step aside. <laughs> well, I have another question for you. <laughs> Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I remember that quote from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yeah. That's from Ocelot, isn't it? Otacon, not Ocelot. <laughs> no, I mean Otacon! <laughs> I meant to say Otacon! <laughs> Snake, yeah. do you think love can move on a battlefield? <laughs> okay, now I can't stop thinking about Ocelot saying that. <laughs> I can't believe I said Ocelot instead of Otacon. Yep, you're pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Very well. I have heard both commanders, and this is Crimea's answer. We will not sway from our ideals. My countrymen st stand united. We will not use force, but we will. But we are willing to do whatever it takes to end this here and now. What have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Ike, I thought you were the craziest Barak I've ever met, but you have some serious competition. True, he Crimea, does. Crimea's queen is a tough woman, your, your majesty. I like your style. Maybe we should play F-Zero GX sometime. Skipper, I cannot let such a petty woman down. Let's get out of here. Pretty woman, not petty woman. <laughs> Oh yeah, pr pretty one. Why did I say petty? <laughs> of course, the beast tribe will not use our claws against unarmed Barok. Soldiers, back to the forest. Back, ba um, back, back to the, back to uh, Madagascar. <laughs> back to the future. Back to the future. Of the forest of Madagascar. <laughs> back, back to the past to play shitty games that suck ass. He'd rather have a buffalo. <laughs> A buffalo, yeah. a buffalo ranch chicken. <laughs> yep. 
but yeah, he <laughs> Captain oh, Falcon is <laughs> Captain Falcon is right to call Elincia a pretty woman. <laughs> Elincia is a petty woman. <laughs> Good title. Petty. Great. Thank you, Captain Falcon. This is only temporary. The war between Lagoose and the Banyan army isn't finished. Yes, I understand that, but even so, I still want... I want you all to know where Crimea stands in this. Hey, you and I should get together and chat sometimes while we're, pl while we're playing F-099. I'll be seeing you again soon. I'm just gonna call this episode pe a petty woman. Or th this petty woman. <laughs> and also not saying... <laughs> You're pretty <laughs> gay. Also, uh, Zeppi sent more sauce. Ooh. Ooh, gold Mary. Ooh, ooh, boobs. I like boobs. And Same. more bird. I like bird, too. I like uh, Leanne. Why is bird... Very... bird why, bird's got so much sauce. Damn. That's what I'm thinking. Why does Leanne get so much sauce? Yeah, and and uh, I mean, I won't ask why Goldberry gets so much sauce because I ain't complaining. Okay, good, good enough. And also, fucking Kurt just... Cobain is back, dude. <laughs> General Zelgis, what are your orders? Shall we attack? No, we will withdraw. <laughs> no. Are you certain, General? How could you cast aside your weapon while surrounding by armed soldiers? I don't know, sir, but no, probably not. Queen Alincia. Queen Alincia <laughs> has done something that even I would be hard to press to do so. For that, we must show our respect. Captain Falcon is rising up Alincia. <laughs> Stop this instant! Wait! Where do you think you're going? Attack those Mangy beasts! Please forgive my ada ada Adachi. Yeah. Adachi? My, audac yeah, his <laughs> my audacity, it's not working. Yeah, it's, not, it's not playing MP3s correctly. Yeah, my MP3 is... <laughs> my MP3 is... No yeah, why did I say MP3? MP3. MP3 is not working because I can't hear Adachi. <laughs> However, Dumbass. we are withdrawing. Every battle ebbs and flows to go against these tides is unwise. Please understand, Senator Armstrong. You self-righteous bastard! You'll understand something else once we're through with this battle. I don't want to go back yet. Do we have time to talk to Alincia? It's been a long time since we last saw Queen Alincia. We should at least say hello. Sure, sounds right with me. There's probably not much time for small talk, but we'll see. Well, clearly there's enough time if fucking Captain Falcon's rising up Valencia. Oh, <laughs> soldiers! Shit. Soldiers! Kill the Queen of Crimea! That girl is a traitor to Binion! Oh, this ain't good, man. The Imperial Army's on the move. They're after Queen Alincia. So much for Imperial Honor. Grail Mercenaries, looks like we have our old job back. Protect Queen Alincia. Oh, hell yeah. I knew it. Follow, follow me, my knights. We shall protect her majesty. Okay, this shit's getting good now. Yo, Jacob, we... I think we are about to get the friggin... Are we about to get the the Grail mercenaries and Crimean knights combined, dude? Yo, this is amazing. Kill every living thing that stands in our way. Show them that I, no, the Senator Armstrong, controls this pathetic land. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> Sir Guy. Sir Guy. <laughs> Dang wait, he, wait, he's Russian? Okay. Ooh. Okay, give him a Russian voice then. Of course! <laughs> wait, that's not Russian. Of course, Senator Valdome. I'd be happy to kill that wench. Okay, that's actually a good Russian accent. Yep, he's Russian now, because his name is Sergei. He's probably gonna get oh, like, he's you. probably gonna get like two lines of dialogue, but I'll do the best damn Russian accent I can. Yeah, you did. You got you got all the Crimean knights. Well, not really. Oh, never mind. They're green. Boo. But at least they'll help. At least they will help. Oh, and Alincia's there in the middle. Because why not? Let's see Alincia's stats. Well, mm, she's got lots of speed and skill and res. Well, at least 
Well, at least she's manageable. At least she is at least manageable. Does she still have the sword? Oh shit, no. No way. What? So, so we have to protect Elincia. Oh yeah, she's unarmed, shit. I'm a green unit. Okay. So she un she unarmed herself like a dumbass. Mm. You sure you don't want raisin? Hmm. Who? Uh... You can trade out Riz. You probably don't need him, right? Yeah, I probably don't. Raisin, however, is going to be useful. I mean, he's always uh... useful. There's never a moment where you don't want him. I mean, he is. He could literally give you an extra turn. So exactly. He's literally the imitator plant from PBZ. Pretty much. I'll be right back. Alright, you know what? Let's take... How about, guys, we take, like, a five-minute break? I'm gonna get a bagel. So, yeah. I just finished some... I just finished cooking something. Oh, nice. I I'm just finishing up my bagel that I made. I just cooked instant, instant ramen. Yeah, that's also pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I just... I just have to chow down on something before I go to sleep. Very it's relatable. Like... <laughs> what? Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know what might happen to you after morning. And I'm ready to start this chapter. Yeah, we get to listen to Ike's theme again. I always like Ike's theme. All right, Heather, my bay. Wow, right. good start. Yeah, that, yeah, he's dead either way. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wash my plate. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, I need to show you something that <laughs> Seppi sent. Alright, you guys ready for the best sauce of the night so far? What is it? Not that. It's this. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he, he even sent the Edgeworth gift. <laughs> Did you actually send that? He sent that. <laughs> What are the odds of that timing? <laughs> I, it, no, that was definitely planned. Because, yeah, that, that'd be my reaction to that, too. Anyways, you're welcome, yeah. guys. We got some good sauce tonight. Get out of town. <laughs> Get out of town. Oh, no, I'm far away from town now. I've, I've been, like, sent to heaven already. I'm seeing that. Imagine if they added the pair-up system in this game. Oh, dead Jacob. Is that mechanic even good? Like, isn't it only in, like, Awakening and Fates? Jacob, pair up is too broken in Awakening. Oh, is that why that game is brain dead? Yes. <laughs> it's literally one of- it's one of the most brain dead games you've ever seen. Great. 
Yeah, we, our five minute um, our five minute break is over. We had a nice I'm BRB. Sorry. I'm sorry, Jacob. I just couldn't help it that Awakening is literally this brain dead. <laughs> so, Zebby, you still want to play Awakening, or would you rather play? Well, actually, I I, I keep forgetting. What game did you want to play after Radiant Dawn, Zebby? I forgot. Maybe maybe you change your mind by now <laughs> on what FE game you want to play. I'm still gonna play Garen Quest after this game. Should we do Should we do Garen Quest together then? Because I think Zeppi said he will, he will, he's interested in Garen Quest, so maybe he want to be there for that. Okay, yes, that is an instant yes. I want all of us to laugh. All three of us should be there for Garen Quest, I think. <laughs> Counter. Get countered, son. I, I will forget where my counter sound is. Counter. Counter. There it is. Yo, she maxes out freaking... <laughs> Dude, Jacob, she literally maxes out freaking strength. Now she's a strong mommy. The only ones that I want her to max out are both freaking speed, defense, and, re and res. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jose said he wanted to play Garen Quest, unless you guys want to, like, take turns or something on chapters. Sounds like a fun idea. I wouldn't be against that either. Sure. I, I honestly like that idea that we could take turns. I yeah. actually know someone who actually did that before with Fire Emblem. What, where they take turns playing? Yeah. By the way, I had another idea for... I had another idea for a potential, um... Like series idea? Uh oh. Uh oh, oh she'll, she's <laughs> fine. Okay, now hear me out. Mario and Luigi two player. <laughs> Interesting idea. So basically, what Mario and Luigi two player is is where player one controls the D pad and the A button, <laughs> and player two controls the B button. <laughs> okay, that sounds fun. So, oh yeah, and Jacob, this will be the last time you'll heal here the the devoted. Well, that's too bad. Actually, this it's not really too bad since we are gonna hear something better than the devoted. Oh, good. At Soul. least in my opinion. And she immediately healed back. She's the healing mommy. Oh yeah. Thing is, I wouldn't really know what Mario and Luigi game I'd want to do it with. Probably just Superstar Saga again, because that game is just infinitely replayable to me. I, there's, I I cannot imagine that there's no uh, two-player in the DS games. Oh no! So basically, what it is is I just basically map your um I map your controller to my B button. And all you have to do is just press the B button whenever Luigi does something, essentially. That sounds really cool. It is cool. I mean, and I mean, maybe... Oh, no! <laughs> maybe there's a way um, to map, to have everybody use the D-pad? Although, I don't know. That could take a lot of, um, like, testing, probably. Honestly, I should have leveled up Marcia's strength even further. Yeah, only so much you can do, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, she is kind of weak. But hey, I'm at least happy that we have green units. Sorry, I'm just eating, Jacob. <laughs> All eight, Kurt Cobain. Give me a sec. <laughs> General Zelgis, Senator Valtom is going to run down the Queen of Valencia. That useless parasite attacking an arna unarmed woman that is beneath even for him. The Crimean army and the part of the Lagoose Alliance have joined the battle in order to rescue the king. They are fighting Senator Valtom Armstrong. Shall we <laughs> assist the senator? Prepare to leave them. We are not fighting. But, General, this could mean that we abandon the Duke. 
Culverts Fours will take all responsibility for this. Make my command clear to all of the men. I will not accept more units to join the fight. An interesting maneuver. More like an interesting maneuver. Yeah, an interesting maneuver. <laughs> yeah, just like Biff, just like freaking Biff Tannen gets run over by a freaking maneuver. <laughs> I am not interested in that, to be honest, but doing Garon Quest on Lunatic is dope. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, that sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> but I can guarantee that I'm going to keep losing <laughs> in Lunatic mode. I mean, hey, maybe it could be fun. I don't know. Sure, it could be fun. You've done enough Lunatic runs at this point. Sure, you could handle it. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Give me the item cheats. Oh yeah, right. I need to do that too. Yeah, we're probably also gonna use like cheats and hacks and stuff to make the game a little more interesting as well. Sure, that's fine. I just like the fact that I, that we are just, that the Grail mercenaries and the Crimean army are taking different sides. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> this might be like the coolest chapter in the game so far. Oh, it is, because we are literally fighting against an army. Believe me, this, we are literally fighting in a full-edge war. Hell yeah. And now, you are dead. You are dead. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, Jacob, there's one topic that we forgot to mention. Oh yeah, the Pixar movies, that's right. <laughs> well, we always forget about our conversations. I don't know, what, what Pixar movies have come out recently? Because I haven't been keeping up with them. <laughs> Besides Inside Out 2? Yeah. I honestly forgot what Pixar films they they released, but I do know the sequels that were released. Yeah, which ones? So, there's Finding Dory, there's Incredibles 2. <laughs> there's Ralph Breaks the Internet. Those are those are just uh, <laughs> great. But yeah, those movies are just mid. Who the fuck is Ralph and why did he break the internet? Oh yeah, nine. No, oh yeah, Wreck It Ralph. I'm stupid. I forgot. <laughs> you literally forgot about Wreck It Ralph. Well, I loved Wreck It Ralph, but I never saw the sequel. Yeah, let's just say that the sequel was terrible. Hmm. So I should watch it then, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, I. No, I don't <laughs> recommend you watching that movie. That movie is just terrible. <laughs> it's just literally filled with pop culture references, just like the Emoji movie. Well, more reason to watch it then. <laughs> You're a, hey. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, hey, when someone tells me something shit, it makes me more interested to check it out. Oh, yeah, he wants the degenerate sound effects for face. Yeah, that sounds good. Sure, I like that idea just for meme value. <laughs> meme value. I haven't seen the degenerate sounds in action, but it sounds funny. Alright. Let's just say that this mage is dead. It has Saul Goodman gonna... in it? Oh, great. Because, uh... He's not gonna purge. Anymore. Nah, 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 nah. You know, Jacob, I just realized something. What? In my opinion, the best Radiant Dawn character, in my opinion, is freaking. Heather. Not Jeffrey? Nope. I mean, Heather is pretty good. At least Heather's hot. You're saying Jeffrey's not hot? <laughs> yes. Damn. Can't believe you do Jeffrey like that. <laughs> hey, 
Heck, I even prefer to Lucia over Jeffrey. That's crazy. Oh, so that guy is actually dead. <laughs> he is actually dead. I know. What's your problem with freaking Lucia, Jacob? Oh, man, I love Lucia. She's great, too. She literally has Booba in she's this got, game. She's got Booba, and yeah. she's got personality. She's tough. Yep. <laughs> Heather's hot. Jeffrey is better. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's, that that, that's, that's good. That's good. Was it Zeppi that said that? <laughs> yes. Okay, kudos to him since it's funny. And okay. now for the speedy mage. Okay, I, I don't know if I said this already, but Ileana kind of reminds me of Patchouli. I wonder why. Because they're both, like, mages that suffer from, like, not getting enough food. And they both have purple hair. Yeah, so? And they look constantly sad all the time. It's too coincidental, man. Keep in mind that those games. Keep in mind, Path of Radiance and Scarlet Devil also came out around the same time. So yeah. Anyway, so the topic at hand. What I'm trying to say is that Pixar literally peaked in the 2000s. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When I was growing up, that's when it peaked, and then I stopped watching. Yeah, me too. You stopped in the 2010s, right? I don't know. When was the last? What? 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 What was the last, um, like, good Pixar movie in the 2000s? <laughs> in the, the last good movie in the 2000s, uh, people say Up was the last movie in the 2000s, before the 2010s. I liked, I liked Up. I saw it in, um, I remember seeing it in French class, of all things. <laughs> I saw it in theater theaters with my parents, even though the theaters look abandoned. Rip. <laughs> Patchy yeah, has but... Patchy has asthma. Ileana's hungry. Well, I mean, Patchy also has anemia, which is you know when you're, you know when you don't get enough food, or when you don't get enough like vitamins in your system, and you're you know, get all you get all weak and shit. Or hungry. Yeah, hungry. The funny thing is that Pixar literally start with a bang with Toy Story. Oh yeah, I like Toy Story. I, I saw it, you know, I think I might have told this story already, but I actually had Toy Story on VHS. <laughs> That's really cool if you had it on VHS. Yeah, that was like the only, that was like the only thing I remember watching on VHS, because I had a VHS player. The next uh, movie that they released was A Bug's Life, even though I haven't even seen it. I also had that on VHS. <laughs> what a coincidence! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, rose out for blood. But yeah, I haven't even seen much of The Bug's Life. I heard some good reviews from that movie. You know, you know what else, you know what else movie I saw? What? Ants. <laughs> You ever seen Ants? The movie that literally tries to rip off friggin' The Bug's Life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw both of them growing up. Some, I actually mostly saw Ants rather than A Bug's Life. I think I liked Ants more. Oh yeah, why? I don't know, I just liked the vibe of it better and I liked the- I liked how like they were in like an army. <laughs> I liked the army aspect because like growing up, nothing was cooler than like war. Okay, that sounds really bad on paper, but hear me out. As a kid, soldiers and, like, tanks and shit were fucking awesome. You're not the only one who feels that way. So ants was just, like, ants going to war with guns and helmets. Shit that was rad, sounds, bro. Honestly, that sounds more like a fun idea than just ants having to steal food and stuff. Yeah, man. Ants was the mature-rated Bug's Life. <laughs> That's why it was so cool. One of the ants gets fucking decapitated in that movie. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It was... The funny thing is that that was actually Pixar... I mean, that was actually freaking uh, uh, DreamWorks' first movie. I did not know that. <laughs> but after they finished Ants, they actually went through... They actually went through a real... A freaking religious route for movies. <laughs> Weird. 
So they're both tired, have purple grayish hair, and both suffering from Fanon, Yuko, Yuko syndrome. <laughs> Jacob, I wouldn't say it's weird since, uh, since Pix, since freaking DreamWorks, uh, Dream, DreamWorks next to movie was actually very dark and grim. What did they make? I don't I haven't seen all the DreamWorks shit. DreamWorks. The next uh, movie that they filmed in the 90s was Prince of Egypt. Oh yeah, you wanted me to see that movie. Yeah, I really wanted you to see that movie since everything about that movie is spectacular. Yeah, I, visual. I still never got to see that. I I, I know you sent it to me, but I never watched it. I did. But I really wanted you to watch it because it is actually visually stunning. Hmm. Well, that makes me ever film? so more interested. It's stunning, yet... The, the musical numbers in that movie is really similar to the Lion King's musical numbers. Hmm, interesting. People literally, people literally compare it to the music to the Lion King. But any, yeah, like I said... Any other good yeah, Pixar like movies? Said, okay, before I say any Pixar movies, but like I said, Prince of Egypt is a very dark movie, like I said. Ooh. I like what I'm Ooh. seeing here. Oh, Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt this battle, guys, but we got some Alincia art. Ooh, Summer Alincia. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Not peaking Chinese Grima. Oh yeah, like I said, Prince of Egypt is a very dark movie. Oh, okay. I, I look back and Gatria killed a guy, so you're welcome. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> for, for Pixar movies, one of the movies that I really enjoy Pixar in the 2000s. Besides Toy Story 2, there was Monsters, Inc. Yeah, I love that movie, too. Yeah, Do it's I a classic. I wonder if I still have the Mike Wazowski scream on here somewhere. Not, <laughs> not, not that. Not that. What's with your soundboard today? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old, by the way. It will yeah, I know. It will never get old. <laughs> I mean, this also never gets old. <laughs> Colonel, I'm at the destination. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I actually re I actually watched Monsters Inc. recently. Maybe I and it's watch as it good again. as I rem and it's as good as I remembered. See, I liked Monsters Inc. and then, but by the time Monsters University came out, I was like, nah, Monsters Inc.'s better. <laughs> I never saw it though. I don't know. I I'm mean, Monsters University was an o was an okay film since it's a prequel to Monsters Inc. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's decent, but it's nothing special, really. Like, surprisingly, I still remember things about Monsters, Inc. Like, I remember the Mike Wazowski screaming. I remember them getting stuck in, like, an infinite door loop. I remember the, yeah. the snow cone, the snow cone yeah. yeti. Yeah, the snow cone yeti and, and the Ran Himalayas. Yep, yeah, and Randall. <laughs> yeah, Randall, I remember the most. And, uh, and, 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 the old, and the old slug lady, I forgot her name. Her name is Roz. Yeah, Roz. She's funny. And, and there's also and there's also freaking Water News, who has a very famous quote. I don't remember that. Monsters University is terrible. <laughs> okay. Who said that? Zeppi said that. Oh yeah, that's understandable. It wasn't even as good as. Uh, I also remember the I also remember the scene where Soli it, it starts freaking out over the fucking trash. <laughs> Yeah, he Compactor. literally. He, he had, well, I mean, he literally, he literally thought that Boo was in, was in the freaking trash. Yeah, and the fucking the part where he fucking faints is so funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> Yet at the same time, it's literally dark. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, it's that is literally yeah. the perfect example of dark humor. Water news slapping the fuck out of Sully. I don't remember that. What the hell. Weird. I guess I'll. I guess you now I gotta watch that movie. I got a lot of movies to watch now. Try to find that clip of where he literally slaps, uh, Sully. Well, you know what, Zeppy? If you can find like a gif of that, send that shit to me. <laughs> That'll probably be like one of the weirdest gifs in, in our DM, but hey, it's fun. It's something. It's actually one of the funniest gifs you've ever seen. Great. 
And it's also a meme where they get a feel like everything else, though. Hey, look, Venom Snake leveled up. He actually got a good level up. Nice. Oh, yeah, and the next... Oh, yeah, and the next movie that was after Monsters, Inc. was also... You guessed it. Toy Story 2? No, Toy Story 2 came out in 1999. Oh, what was after that, then? You know what Wario said. <laughs> Incredibles. Incredibles. Guys, you remember. Wait a minute. Wait, Incredibles was after Monsters Inc. What the fuck? Yeah, it really? released in 2000. It actually released in 2004. What the fuck? Incredibles was that long ago? Jeez. <laughs> you actually didn't realize it was from 2004? No, I thought it was like 2008 or something. No, it released in 2004. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you haven't been. <laughs> Looks like you haven't paid attention to release dates that much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there there is nothing I could say of what Incredibles is all about. People just talk. People just say it's literally the best Pixar movie ever made. Now I gotta find my Mr. Incredible um thing. The uncanny one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jacob. There it is. You know so far, in my opinion, the uncanny Mr. Incredibles is the best in 2000 in the decade so far. <laughs> the best meme. Yes. The yeah, uncanny. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Incredibles looks so modern for 2004. Maybe that's why I thought it came out later. <laughs> You're just saying that because because literally, visually, visually, it looks advanced to you. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what? Other movies aged amazingly. What? Advent Children. Well, that, yeah. So that's also 2004, real. and that movie aged even better. Well, yeah, it's because it's Final Fantasy. Everybody loves Final Fantasy VII. Oh, I think he sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he actually did that. <laughs> I do not remember that, but that's really funny. Also, Nephany did something. She got a crit, I think. <laughs> Yeah, she actually did get she actually did get a crit. I don't remember that, but that's hilarious. You should watch Monsters Inc. again. I should, you know, I have a lot of movies. I should honestly make a movie bucket list now. Because I have a honestly, gaming bucket list, but I I even got movie one next. But yeah, I will, the first movie that I really want you to watch is Prince of Egypt. Okay, I could well, I could put that on my bucket list. So like let me think about first my let, let me think about my bucket list. That movie takes like more than an hour, just an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I, I got an idea on a movie I want to watch. I want to watch The Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> oh yeah, Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> actually, actually, Prince of Egypt actually takes like an hour and forty minutes. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, Emperor's New Groove. That actually sounds like a funny idea for you to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want to know something crazy about that movie? What? There was no script for it. Wow. <laughs> so they just came up some random ideas for it to work. Sounds like what I would do. <laughs> that's understandable. In fact, that's always how I do things. I would just come up with random bullshit on the fly and just hope it works. Like for in context or out of context? Uh, both. <laughs> that's fine. That's how, um, that's how SML RPG was created. I just came up with random bullshit as I went, and that's how the game turned out. And, well, you just and, and, random bullshit. And the story- the story is a wonderful mess. <laughs> like, I, I- I never would have thought, like, Grandad from- from the Flintstones bootleg, Dr. Eggman, Woodman, and the voice from Civa Gunner would, like, you know, be on a conquest together. Or what? They they like they're trying they're trying to take over Earth with memes. <laughs> and that's the plot. That sounds, that's actually kind of funny when you think about it. Yeah, that's literally the whole plot. And like, you know, Grandad is like the central like force of the game, and he he ends up going Super Saiyan at the end. <laughs> and he's what? the he's the final boss. Yeah. That 
that sounds like that literally sounds like a catastrophe, but it works. Exactly. Random bullshit goes, says Minus. The Garen Quest is like that? Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna love Garen Quest then. Yeah, like I said, Garen Quest has so much memes in it. <laughs> yeah, and like. There's also, and there's also friggin' ball jokes in <laughs> it. <laughs> so, like, I can think of, like, a lot of, like, the, the characters and memes from SML RPG, like, the first one, the first SML RPG is fucking great. I'm still really proud of that, even though I know it's like kind of shit. And if any, if nobody has checked it out, I have a link to it on my YouTube. It, it's it's something I made when I was like 16. It, it's really funny though. Like, um, what are the what are some other characters that are in that game? Like, um, and also like the enemies are super random too. Like you end up fighting like. Um, like, you start out by fighting, like, Goombas and Koopas and Shy Guys and stuff, and, like, you, you, you have your weird enemies, like, a box of Cheerios, or, um, like, Reapers and, like, skeletons with guns and penguins and weird shit Honestly, like that. Honestly, the kind of shit Earthbound would, would even utilize with. Yeah, and, like, that, the, the whole game is like that. There's just really wacky enemies. Like, freaking, uh... What was the game that has... Hmm. Or, or at least the Sonic stage, where it says Wacky Workbench or something? Yeah, Wacky Workbench. Yeah, that. That's literally what I was about to joke on. <laughs> oh yeah, Jacob, have you ever... Oh yeah, uh, Jacob. The, ne the next uh, movie that released after Incredibles was... I think Ratatouille. I might have seen that. I don't know. You know, the movie that has the guy reading the letter? <laughs> yeah. That, that's actually the one that's from Ratatouille. <laughs> I, I know that. Um, Honestly, who, you should I'll, definitely watch Ratatouille if you haven't seen it that much. It's actually a great film. So uh, who, ma who made Over the Hedge? DreamWorks. That's DreamWorks, okay. Because I get DreamWorks and Pixar mixed up a lot. It's fine. I, I know I saw Over the Hedge as a kid. What about Mega Mind? Uh, I may have seen bits and pieces of it. I don't think I saw the full movie. You should definitely watch the entirety of Mega Mind. It's it's <laughs> no, a great film. No bitches. Yes, the no bitches. <laughs> the no bitches scene. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, the fact that Mega Mind is also voiced by Will Ferrell is great because you know I loved his performance in Elf in The Office. Yeah, me too. He is funny <laughs> in yeah. Elf. Oh, and also he's in he's in Austin Powers too. He makes like a cameo in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that so, happening. So there's a lot of things I seen that has Will Ferrell in it. Will Ferrell is awesome. I will say that much. Yeah. Just like, um, just like, um, Mike Myers, he's also awesome. Cause I could, I could he, see Because he, he plays Austin Powers. <laughs> and he also plays Shrek. And Shrek. So, the fact that he can play Mega Ma or not Mega <laughs> the fact that he can play <laughs> Shrek, Austin Powers, he also plays, he also plays Dr. Evil. <laughs> Really now? Yeah, so so the funny thing about Austin Powers is that Mike Myers plays the good guy and the bad guy at the same time. <laughs> what about the Grinch? Uh, no, that's Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> they always get mixed up with Jim Carrey and... <laughs> and Mike Myers. Yeah, and uh, you want to know what else? You don't want to know what else? Um, Mike Myers also plays Fat Bastard. In Austin Powers, really? so he plays three characters. That's interesting to note. Honestly, yeah. my brain turned off when you mentioned movies. I don't always bring up movies, so it's kind of a refreshing change. Yeah, it is a, a refreshing change. Well, and hey, and hey, the more movies I watch, the more shit I have to talk about. So that's always good. That's true. That's always true. Because I saw the I saw the Austin Powers trilogy with my girlfriend, and I love those movies. They're great. I could imagine why. Well, because it's just it's just British spy humor. It's great. <laughs> I could always imagine why. And also, oh, yeah. and also, the funny thing about the Austin Powers movie is that he gets a different chick in each movie. <laughs> <laughs> great. Oh yeah, Jacob. There's something that I really always wanted to talk to you about. Something. What? 
there's actually a program for Fire Emblem specifically for the for the GBA that you can customize anything you want. Cool. And this is not keep in mind, this is not just a randomizer. You can literally customize anything from portraits to to freaking maps and even music itself. So there's a Fire Emblem editor. Cool. Yeah, there's actually a Fire Emblem editor where you can customize anything you want. All right, new I actually, All right, you know what? New idea. I make a Fire Emblem ROM hack for you guys, and you guys gotta play it. <laughs> if you figure out how this how the system works, yeah. <laughs> just get Effie Builder just to. I will write that just down. Just to work for it, and use for, and uh, use uh, different software options to make the portraits, or, and then. <laughs> try to find and then try to find a software to to use the midis for the GBA. <laughs> you gotta play it too. Okay, I could I could t I could play test it. <laughs> yeah, at least try to play test Effie Builder. It's basically similar to the freaking to the freaking Mario X. I'll think about it because I got a lot of I, I have a lot of um things I want to work on because I still want to finish my Mario Bros X level. I also want to make Paper Mario Down Bad Edition, which is something I'm also working on. That's okay. Yeah. I'll at least try to remind you to download it. I have it written down, so yeah. Nice. But yeah, the idea of customizing ev that the idea of customizing freaking fire Fire Emblem maps and units with music—that's actually really cool. You could literally customize any mu music you want, and that includes customizing customizing the music to Mega Man music. You can actually do that. I would love to play some stanky middies. Dude, I could do it. Yeah. Make dude make it my own Fire Emblem game. That sounds rad as hell. It is. You can make your own maps of any of anything you want. Try to make you at least try to make the map as cool as possible. Yeah, maybe, maybe save that for, like, map 20 or something. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know how long I, I- I don't know how long I'd want to make a Fire Emblem game. But... It could at least limit to 20 chapters. I think- I think- I think 20 chapters is, like, a good balance. Also, Zeppi sent something again, I think. What more could he possibly send you? Ooh, hold on. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> purple heart at or no, purple 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 and black heart got arrested for smuggling goods in lane box. <laughs> <laughs> so they're into drugs. Wow, great. They smuggled drugs. <laughs> they smuggled shit. Wow. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Great. And right now I just realized that I finished my Insta Ramen. <laughs> yeah, not White Heart, Black Heart. Black Heart. <laughs> did, did you did you did you unintentionally mix up both of them? He he typed out White Heart, but I said Black Heart <laughs> to correct him. All right. Cause yeah, I mean it's just kind of confusing because Black Heart has white hair, <laughs> so it, it's it's honestly a reasonable mistake. And then, for, and, then, and then for some reason, Whiteheart has blue hair. <laughs> she, you know, you know what, Jacob? Maybe she's blue, double Dita, but die. Yeah, I'm blue. <laughs> see, see, I, see, I, see, I, I put a, I could put a stanky midi of blue, double D as a map theme. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a good idea. <laughs> even though, dude, get, even dude, though we get claimed, probably. Nah, dude, I don't think. Wait, maybe, do road sandstorm? Maybe at, least, <laughs> at least try to remix it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, at least remix it to make it sound different. So that way you won't get claimed. Yeah, make Darud Sandstorm a map theme. <laughs> Darud Sandstorm, I like that idea. Yeah. Or yeah. at least maybe you could make you could actually you could actually uh, try to customize some of your favorite music. Like 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 what I just said, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man's always good. Maybe some Ninja Gaiden in there. Yeah. Just mix it up with all this shit. Yeah, that's, so that a, way, well, that, that's if I can get it to work, though, because, you know, I'm very bad when it comes to shit like that. 
I know. Because I, I, I don't I don't do music customization unless it's like really piss easy to do. <laughs> like when I make my own BRSTMs and stuff. I mean, there are tutorials about it. Hmm. Give it a I'll give it a try. Okay, make, cool. Make the units have max stats with the Hector sprite icon. <laughs> Sure, you can just do that. Uh, give him, give him like a hundred sixty-four health with like just a shit ton of um, what are they called? Um, and I don't know what they're called, like angelic scarves or something. I forgot the item name. Well, I mean, you're not wrong about it. The one that gives seven health each time. Yeah, they're called angelic robes. Oh, angelic robes, not angelic scarves. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong since scarves are technically robes. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get a drink because I ran out of juice, so I'll be right back. How many hours has it been? We've been going for 2 hours and 15 minutes, so hopefully you can... Well, actually, uh, the recording itself is at 2.05, so hopefully we can finish this map soon. But I'm going to get a drink. We are going to finish this map. Yes, yeah, so I'll be right back. Alright, since I'm here, there are some things that we are going to talk about, but I can't think of anything. Well, maybe later, since he's dead. He is... He's dead. Oh, no. Poor Astrid. Thank you so much. Guess I'll be right back too. Commander, our force is taking heavy losses. Defeat is imminent. Did you came back first? Yeah, I came back. I was literally just taking a whiz. Oh, well, you should have paused it if you were going AFK. <laughs> That's okay. It was just quick. Make sure you do the Great Lord sprite. Okay. <laughs> Even our strike force cannot keep the enemy at bay. Please, you must escape. I've been defeated? Me? By worthless rabble like this? Ugh. Blast that, Zelgis. How dare you not assist me? I'll have his pompous head for this. Lol, bye, loser. Oh. Wow, the thought of making my own Fire Emblem game with the custom music sounds really cool. And with your own units, that's also cool. Yeah. I mean, I could put, like, whatever units I want. Like, I could put Yunaka in the game. I could put, uh, Kokchan. I could put Garen in the game. <laughs> Maybe you should try making Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man as a unit. Whatever the fuck class he would be. Like, can you make your own classes, oh. then? Yeah, you can make your own <laughs> class. <laughs> I can make him, like... I don't know. Oh, wait, I got an idea. Dude, I got a really funny idea. Why? I can make Sakuya a thief and he throws knives at people. Okay, that actually sounds like a good idea since it's in character of Sakuya. Yeah. Or maybe Marissa? Mar since she... Marissa, you know what? Marissa would be a, um... A fate. She would be a, yeah, she would be, um, a She would be a light mage. There you go. Perfect. Why light? 
Because she, according to Toho Wiki, she uses light and heat magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fools, how dare you fight my master? He is Senator Valtome Armstrong, Duke of Calvert. Die in his name. She's gonna get Bane, I really hope. <laughs> Ye Honestly, it would be funny if she get Bane, but unfortunately she can't. Dang. Maybe Mega Man could be a bow user. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, because he shoot she he shoots lemons. He shoots lemons. I'll give him like a, a special customized bow called the Mega Buster, and it shoots lemons. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. This is all this is all hypothetical though. I don't know how much of this is actually possible in the builder yet, but we'll see. It is possible in the Builder. <laughs> well, at least for the portraits. Yeah. Think. Well, well, well I'll <laughs> accept this. She's a dagger unit, like, engage. Yes. Oh, Center of Valtome Armstrong. Oh. <laughs> I am so proud of my freaking Nephany. You had a good Nephany. Exactly. She's she's actually gonna be a really balanced unit. Now that I think about it. Take a dump. You know what? I should put Dev Dan in the game. Dev <laughs> Dan. <laughs> like in like in fucking Link Arena. Actually, enough. what about Brom? Brom, yeah, I'll put Brom in. I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll put in, I'll put in all the units I like, like Brom, Dev Dan, Coke Chan. Um, maybe, uh, Gold Mary. Oh, definitely, oh, definitely Heather. <laughs> and Heather. Um, who else can I put in the game? Who else do I like? Because I've only seen two Fire Emblems, so I don't have a lot of characters that I know about. I mean, you like Ike. Yeah, I'll put Ike in. Maybe Ike will be the protagonist or something, I don't know. Or maybe just... I could just keep saying great ether. Or great. Just ether. That'll be his only line of dialogue is great ether, ether, or I fight for my friends, or. Oh no. He's gonna break the door. <laughs> That'll be a plot point. He breaks a yeah. door down. Or at least make the boss fight into a door. <laughs> <laughs> or better, maybe you can make him into a Makoto Yu. Maybe you can make the boss fight into Makoto Yuki. <laughs> the Makoto Yuki door, and I cast to use Great Ether on the door. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. And I'll add, um, oh, Ileana. Oh, Heather, may I stay with you? Please fight together. We have a better chance of surviving, don't you think? Sure, I don't mind all. Mutual effort for mutual gain. What a wonderful world we live in. Like okay. a whole new, like a whole new world. A whole new world. Okay, I'm definitely putting Pat Choli in the game too. It's literally yeah. Darren Quest Marth at this point. Great. Garen Quest. I mean, Garen Quest actually has Marth. Yeah. And his only and his only characteristic trait is our cause is just. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally his only character trait. His character trait is our our cause is just. But Mars! <laughs> but Mars! <laughs> I'm not joking, that's literally his character trait. His character trait is our cause is just. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard that quote, right? Uh, maybe, but it sounds funny. Our cause is just. <laughs> I mean, you've heard it in the Smash Bros. mod. Uh, maybe. Where Marth speaks in English? For Smash 4? I have not, actually. Really haven't heard? Uh, it looks like Benyon's finally given up. That took so damn long. Really? You did told me that you've heard a mod of Marth having a a modded voice for Smash 4. No, I don't think so. I had a I had an English voice mod for Cloud in Smash 4. That's funny. Even you are joking. <laughs> Tell me about it. But we did get some good information out of all this. Now we know for certain that there are serious leadership problems in the Imperial Army. I'm glad General Zelgis was honorable enough to withdraw. If the full strength of the two armies had clashed, Lincia's effort would have been wasted. 
Sarike, Sir Ranulf, thank you for helping us save Queen Alencia. Jeffrey, I'm really surprised you let Alencia do such a dangerous thing. You must be more relaxed these days. It wasn't easy for me, as you could guess, but I could never really say no to Queen Alencia. What choice did we have, anyways? You didn't have any, and you did all what you could to need to be done. I'm really impressed. Crimea has become quite a long. Quite strong? Or quite strong. Quite a long. <laughs> yeah, sure, that, <laughs> that, that works as well. Don't talk to str such strangers, such as them. The Grell mercenaries are also from Crimea. You're part of that strength. <laughs> True, I do have the most strength in the game. My strength stat's very high. And I'm very yeah, proud of my defense. homeland. <laughs> yeah, his defense as well, but <laughs> his speed, his speed is halfway, his speed is halfway there. I mean, he could have gotten 30 speed. Oh my god, I just thought of another character to add to the game. Why? I'll make Jeffy a sword user. <laughs> Give him a pencil. Jeffy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about Mama Luigi? I'm Mama Luigi. Maybe Jeffy, you know, Jacob, I actually have an idea. What? Make Jeffy into a boss fight so that Mama Luigi can fight. He, he wow. should be saying, he should be saying like, you ruined my reputation. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of plot points that could go on there. Yeah, and then... And Jeffy just responds to... <laughs> <laughs> that's literally his response. <laughs> okay, that's good. And then he'll just keep saying a lot of things that he ruined. He ruined <laughs> Mario and Luigi's stupid and dumb adventures. You, I never got the rest of season three. Yeah, and he, he, there, there should have been a freaking sequel to Mario and Bowser's stupid and crazy adventures. <laughs> yeah, season two. <laughs> yeah, definitely season two. There, there are so many ideas we could think about, but but we'll just think about it later on. Yeah. I want to finish Down Bad Edition first, and then I'll think about that's, it. That's okay. Let's go see her. You're, I mean, <laughs> why did I say see her? Let, let's go see her, Your Majesty. I, no. I said it right. No, it just says, let's go see her Majesty. <laughs> let's go see her Majesty. Maybe I did say it wrong. You do have time to speak with her, right? I'd be happy to. <gasps> <laughs> That's Ike's response. <laughs> oh shit. Now he's angry. I shall now dispense punishment for disobeying my orders. General Zelgis, do you have anything to say? I would hear your pleas now. I am prepared to face the consequences of my actions. Quite an admiral sentiment, General. Although I imagine you should have thought about the consequences before you abandoned your allies. Now, on your knees. It's time for your execution. Goodbye, General Zelgis. What? Senator, I must ask you to reconsider to execute the man of the General Zelgis caliber without a trial. It's horrible, it's madness. Kurt Cobain, aren't you dead? Are you questioning a Senator Armstrong? Senator Armstrong holds the right to punish a prisoner if you fuck with this senator. Oh, I'll make sure to tell our people that the general was cut down in battle after failing hundreds of subhumans. Though that way, the people will not trouble themselves over details they couldn't possibly understand. You want to bury the truth. Do you think the Apostle is as easily as fooled by your lies? Oh, I sincerely doubt the Apostle will ever get to hear them. All right, I've waited long enough. Your way is over as well, Zelchus. Execute him. <laughs> his, his voice is all over the place now. Don't worry, Zelchus. I'll make sure that your lands are looked after. They'll be mine, of course. <laughs> What? 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 Silence, Valtom. All so soldiers loyal to Benyon are stand down immediately. Who is it? 
Well, I hear some wings flapping. Is it Captain Falcon? Oh, Tanith! Oh, Tanith! Oh, shit. Oh, what voice did I give her? I think I gave her, like, kind of the Valley Girl voice. Hello, yeah. hello, Senator Valtome. <gasps> oh, you're one of the Holy Guards. The Apostle will be here shortly. Soldiers, sheath your weapons and kneel before the Apostle. <gasps> no, it's impossible. Ah, it's her. There's no doubt about it, dude. It's the Apostle. The Apostle's here, dude. There's Sanaki. Sonaki and uh, the other girl. I forgot her name. What, you mean Sigrun? Oh yeah, Sigrun. My soldiers, I apologize for my sudden disappearance. I am here today to explain things and to bring you news from home that is of the utmost importance. My soldiers, listen to me carefully. I never wished for this war. It was started by those who wanted me dead. It was spurred on by their desire to build Banyan for themselves. Also, is this the fucking McDonald's music? <laughs> How is it the McDonald's music? I'll let it play out more. This war was the work of the Senator Armstrong and was organized by Vice Minister Lacane of Gatos. The Senate wished harm upon the Apostle, dude? No, impossible. How can that be? Lies! She lies! Do not be tricked! Proud soldiers of Benyon, she's not the true apostle. Ah, I see. Then are we not the real holy guards? Is that what you're trying to say? No, this is a farce. You cannot trick us. You're using a fake apostle to disable the senator Armstrong and take over Benyon. Men, we must attack. The vile Sephiroth is their leader. The fact that he's been put in chains is our proof. Oh. I will not allow you to disgrace my master. It's a good name. <laughs> that's not Sigrun, that's female Sigurd. <laughs> Why call her Sigurd? Yeah, it's because it sounds no... similar. Yeah, maybe. One more syllable and I shall snap your neck, Faltome. <gasps> oh. He is not afraid to kill him. Oh, here's the McDonald's music. <laughs> It definitely doesn't sound much like McDonald's anymore. It actually sounds like a proper choir. Well, I mean... What, which McDonald's theme are you being specific about? Uh, look up McDonald's The Golden Arches. You might find what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> say it again, I want- Say it again, I want to see his neck get snapped. Yes, please. McDonald's Golden Arches. Yeah, the song. <laughs> oh, Ooh, did Zeppi send more sauce? Holy, holy shit, dude. He did. What is it? Look what he sent. God damn. Well, a well it's, well, it's Iris. Iris heart time, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, I hear it now. <laughs> you hear what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, now I know. Now, apparently, I know this now, now. Now you know why I call it the McDonald's music? <laughs> yes, I, I understand it now. Apostle, words cannot express how good it is to see you li alive and well. We have been awaiting for your return. Thank you, General Zelgius. You and I have much to discuss. You're probably- Are you even questioning why Zelgius is working for Sephirin? Um... Okay, why is he working for, Ze for Sephiroth? Well, I won't spoil what happens right now, since you'll see it eventually. <laughs> as to why. Jose, you uncultured swine. <laughs> what, for, what, for not knowing the McDonald's music? <laughs> I think I think he might be right about that he <laughs> he knows that I really d didn't understand the friggin McDonald's theme <laughs> yeah 
Hating oh hi, hating on Iris Heart. That's what he doesn't like. Oh, <laughs> that's oh okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the McDonald's music, which is great, by the way. That's what I'm thinking as well. If you guys haven't, oh. if you guys haven't heard it, listen to the Golden Arches, and you'll see what I mean. I mean, Zeppi, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm not that much of a fan of Neptune anymore. Well, yeah, that that I I know that. Twenty nine hours. I can't believe it's been that long. Yay, the small, the small, uh, lolly empress. <laughs> the freaking lolly empress. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's the Sephiroth's voice. To the citizens of Ben. <laughs> hey, it's Little Bono. By the goddess, and are worthy of the same respect given to the apostle. As for the apostle, her image is tarnished. Whatever happened to Captain Lou? <laughs> that is Captain Lou. Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Are willing to believe the senator's claim that the apostle. Is you will go to hell. You go to hell before you die. So it is. And drugs. Is divided. One camp believes in the apostle. Because his name is Linguini. This new turmoil fires the flames of chaos into a mighty conflagration. Hey Mario! Hey Mario! Hey Mario! Hey Paisan! I haven't heard this in a while. Oh my god, our just... cause is just! <laughs> our cause is just! <laughs> yeah. Jacob, I am actually excited for this chapter. Yeah, I can't wait to go to dinner. No, not because of that. Thank you for coming today. Everyone, I am in your debt. All of you. Captain Falcon, the Lion King, the King, uh, all these other kings, and, and all of the, uh, and all of the Leonardo Ninja Turtles and Man Mr. Van Driesens and Luans from the King of the Hill, and the Queen of Crimea, Lincia who worked tirelessly to arrange this meeting and generously extended her hospitality. She gave me hope when I was driven out of my country and offered aid when all seemed lost. You have my sincere gratitude. Before we begin, allow me to make a few things clear about the recent war between Banyan and the Laguz Alliance. All right. When we received your letter stating that the Senate had made scapegoats of the Herons for the previous Apostle's assassination, Prime Minister Sephiroth and I decided to investigate the Senate and prosecute them if needed. Then the Senator Armstrongs made their move. What did they do? They imprisoned me in a room in the main old cathedral. Then they forged an arrest warrant for Sephiroth and jailed him. Oh, shit, I forgot that Zeppi sent me Hilincia art. Yeah, and I she's in her good. New Year outfit. Awesome. Thank you, Zeppi. Hold up, he sent me something too. Thank you, Zeppi. <laughs> that's that's freaking Mikaya and That's wonderful. It's Midkaya um, and uh Sanaki. Everybody's fa favorite duo. Yeah. I admit there have been major rifts between myself and the Senator Armstrongs in the past. However, I had no idea that they would stoop to such deplorable acts. I should have known. This is all my fault. We didn't think you were behind this war, mongering. What? What you just told us confirms what we have guessed. You didn't play F Zero. You didn't 99. play F Zero. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Did not play F Zero ninety nine. She she hasn't peaked yet. She's still playing her Fortnites and stuff. <laughs> <That's awful. laughs> they used the Taco Bell skill in Fire Emblem Heroes. Nice. They used the Taco Bell <laughs> skill in. My, my... Wait, wait, Zeppi, what are you talking about? I don't know. My voice can't go any higher, guys, so this is like the highest pitched voice I can do. That's okay. I have been forced to flee my country, but that doesn't change the fact that I am the Empress of Benyon. I will not allow the Senate to declare me false 
nor I will stand by as they seize and ravage Benyon. I must return to my country, save my people, and take back my birthright. To accomplish all this, I would like to form an alliance with the Laguth tribes. Help me save Benyon. I will accept if you agree to a few conditions. First, immediately and em emancipi in emancipate. I think that I think that's the right word, right? Emancipation. Yeah, emancipation. I just said emancipate, so it's close enough. Of any Lagoose remaining in slavery. Second, that new diplomatic relations between our people start with a clean s slate. No bias against Barak or Lagoose shall be tolerated. Lastly, a full alliance between our countries to, sol to further solidify this agreement. If you agree to these terms, I, I, I will give you support. I hope that, at long last, the dream of both King Raman and I held will come to fruition. Honestly, he has some amazing points. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, wanting to get, I mean, to wanting to get rid of Lagoo's racism is honestly very reasonable. <laughs> exactly. Because literally for years, Barok and Laguzes have been on an ongoing war to each other for decades or even the century. He says, the ghost Anaki has flared mirror which sets fire. Oh, okay. I okay, I actually get it. I okay, I actually get what he's talking about. <laughs> wow, crazy. I agree with King the Lion King completely. If these conditions are agreed to Crimea, Crimea would likely to join this alliance as well. Do you intend to return the Serenus Forest to the Herons when you take back to the to the future? <laughs> of course. The goddess loved that forest because the Herons made their homes there. I'll see you to it that you can return home. My brother, we can finally go home. Our family can be together again in our own homeland for the first time in decades. Now, Beavis. Now, Beavis. Yeah! Alright, I'm in for this. I didn't need much convincing, even though I really wanted to be convinced that F-Zero GX should be re-released, hey. though. I just want to rip those idiot Senator Armstrongs in half. Kalia, Captain Falcon's land <laughs> called F Zero. F Zero land. And yeah, F Zero <laughs> land. <laughs> Fucking F Zero land. That's what we're gonna call it now. F Zero land. Yes. You know what? That should be the title of this stream F Zero land. <laughs> I like that better than Petty Woman. Yeah, it's better than Petty Woman. Now it's F Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Serenus and Crimea shall hereby make a pledge. Apostle Sonaki, we will wholeheartedly support your effort to return to the throne so long as we stand united in our ideals. Please bring peace back to our lands. Each of you have my deepest gratitude. I swear I'll accomplish that goal. So, sounds like everyone's on the same side now. That's the best news I've heard in a long time. I feel the same, but it's too early to celebrate. I'll not be happy until I take back my country. How we fare in the battles to come will be of the utmost importance. Grail mercenaries would be glad to help. I know that we're a small unit, but we'll do our best to see the job done, right? I mean, you guys are you guys are bigger than the fucking Crimea army. Even the freaking, <laughs> even the freaking uh, Midgade. And the, and the Dawn Brid Midgade, bitch. I certainly hope you will, especially since I've decided to make you the commander of our combined forces. Oh hell yeah! I've got a promotion. Wait, hold on there. What did you just say? 
Listen, Apostle Sanaki, I'm really flattered, but General Zelj is much more qual- Zelj just returned to the Empire by himself to rescue Prime Minister Sephiroth. Our army consists of the troops he left behind, as well as the armies of Crimea, Gallia, and Captain Falconland. Or F-Zero Land. Or F-Zero Land. <laughs> now I call it Captain Falconland. <laughs> now I want to call it F-Zero Land as well. God damn it. Ike, you're probably the only person who can great ether a door on the face of Tellius to command respect from all four countries represented here. Ike, I know you're not happy about this, but you're the only person who can great ether a door and bridge the rift between the Lagoos and Barok. <laughs> no, I'm not happy about it. I thought my days of being a general ended three years ago, but I won't refuse. If you think I'm the only person who can pull this off, then I'll do my best not to let any of you down. Thank you, Ike. Let's go meet with the armies and the soldiers you'll be leading. They'll want to meet their new commander. Not again. Well, he is... Well, he is in for something. Sephiroth right. is the Fire Emblem Prime Minister. In the United Kingdom. Oh, we got a, a freaking Master Crown. 20,000 bucks! <laughs> yes! Imbue. Send Imbue to Conroy. All right. All right, I think this will end the episode. Before before we end the episode, I'm gonna give him. Holy shit! Holy that, shit, dude! That that is a lot of exp. Sure is. Give it to Brom. Yeah, Brom. Hopefully, I have a better idea. You know, I should put Sephiroth in the Fire Emblem hack. And he'll, and he'll be like the Black Knight, or he has a two-range sword. <laughs> actually, well, do, mean, actually, do two, do two range swords even exist in GBA games? Yes. All right, then it is settled. Well, I mean, well, I mean, the Masamune is la is long enough. Exactly, bro. Yo. Braum has promoted to a marshal. And he got friggin' more resistance. That's insane. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, he's a much stronger armor knight. I'm so happy for Braum. Me too. Think. Well, I'm doing this because I love her. Yeah, Heather. Heather is Jose's new wife, who confirmed. Well, Jacob, I am much more happy to say this, but I'm finished with. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? Why? Why are all our stats maxed out except for skill? <laughs> well, I mean, her skill. Her skill is going to max out to Jesus. thirty. To thirty-eight. Tw give plus 20 defense and res with Masamune. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Sephiroth should be the final boss of the Fire Emblem hack. Hey, Jacob, I actually have an idea of what I'm gonna do. What? <laughs> you gonna max out Nephany? Yes. Let's see if she max out her stats the same way as... <laughs> I'm gonna take a sec, guys. Wow, she <laughs> sure did! <laughs> she matches out all of her stats as well! <laughs> Great, now you, yeah, have, now you got the best Nephany ever. I literally made my Nephany so good! <laughs> you know what, Jacob? That's worth it. That is worth it. I'll send that to someone, probably, too. <laughs> I don't care. Nep <laughs> Nephany is going to be the most OP unit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she doesn't max out her magic. <laughs> but, but who cares? 
But who cares? <laughs> that doesn't matter because she doesn't even need magic. I, <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I friggin' can't believe it. Nephany is gonna be OP. Hey, you can buy Thor. You can buy Thoron. <laughs> give it to oh. uh, give it, give it to Ileana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ileana has Thoron now, dude. This yeah, episode, she is grown. This episode's peaked. This is peak Fe right here. Yes, it is. It's peak Fe. <laughs> That's the closest she'll ever get to max stats. Yep. Now all that now now all Nephany needs is an SS uh like Lance and she'll be good to go. Yo, I think I have everybody. You got everybody. Well, yes, I do. Well, except for Jill. You don't have Jill. Yeah, unfortunately not. But seriously, Jacob, we have almost everybody from the original game, Path of Radiance. It's crazy. Yeah, gang's all here, including some newcomers, like Heather and, um... Even, even though we don't have Elincia, though. Oh yeah, I guess she'll come later. Yeah. But you know what? I am happy. I'm just freaking happy that I have Khalil. Even though I wasted all my EXP for Nephany, I love Nephany. Yep, Nephany's great. Alright, before... Before I do anything, I'm just gonna give Silver Swords. We ended up almost going for three hours after all, but you know what? That's fine. This, this is, I don't mind, because we got two chapters done, and we're just kind of setting up for the next episode. Ooh, who deserves the Silver Spear? Plus, we did have that, like, five to ten minute break, so it's okay. And then I'm gonna pass out to freaking... Ooh, I have an idea. I'm gonna pass out the crossbow to somebody else. And I'm definitely going to give it to Shinnan. Oh, since hell he is, yeah. Since he is one of the best units in the game. <laughs> Dev Dan. Maybe I'll buy Soren some tomes. Tomes. Oh yeah, we, we are going to do a Toho... Um... 12.3 on Thursday, that's right. I haven't decided what time we should do it. I'm thinking maybe we should do it in, like, the afternoon or something, maybe. What or, about Radiant? Oh. Or What's whenever you... Um, we'll just do one Radiant Dawn stream this week, since we're gonna put Toho 12.3 in place of it. Oh, man. Okay. Well, what are we doing on Sunday, then? Oh, yeah, I guess... You want to just skip Sunday then, Zeppi, and just play Toho on Thursday instead? Because I could, I could do that. And then I'd like maybe Jose could join, and maybe Elijah could join too, I don't know. Maybe Sunday could work for Radiant Dawn. You know what? That's not a bad idea. We can move our Radiant Dawn session to Sunday. Yeah, so that way we will have enough time. But the question is, would you want to do Radiant Dawn in the morning? <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I want to do it on morning. Because I always play with Zeppi in the mornings, but since, yeah. On what day, though, for the morning? Uh, like Sunday morning at like 12 p.m. is usually when I play with him. Okay, that's manageable. That's manageable that we can do this on on 12 p.m. So yeah, Zeppi, uh, I'll skip out on Sunday with you so we can play Toho this Thursday, and then me and Jose will continue Radiant Dawn on Sunday. So we're basically flipping it around, essentially. I'm definitely gonna give everybody silver, silver axes. Silver axes, yeah. Well, and hopefully, and hopefully you don't rage quit this time, Zeppy. Try to try to have a bit more fun. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm sure it'll be more fun anyways, though, because it's on. It'll be on call because, you know, typically it's typically everything's more fun on call anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I could have sure that. Because you can just make mm. dumb jokes in the moment, which is which works out way better. Wait a minute, silver dagger, yes. Yeah. That could help. That could help freaking. Hey. That could <laughs> help Heather. <laughs> look at, right look at all these daggers today. Heather has now. I think we're set. Yeah, we're all good, guys. 
I can't. You do you honestly find it unbelievable that Nephany just maxes out everything else except magic? That is crazy. <laughs> you could also R. You could all. There's no contest that she's literally better than Path of Ray. I, I will say this, Nephany is a lot better in this game than Path of Radiance. Yeah, I agree. I mean, especially because she has the fucking Impale skill, which is amazing. Oh, it is. It, it is definitely amazing. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching Radiant Dawn tonight. I, I, I think this might be the best episode yet. So many oh, good, yeah, so, Like, we had so many good moments. We had, like, our whole movie talk. We had, like, um... A new idea for a builder yeah the the fe builder um fucking lion king line <laughs> yep the lion king line and um and, and f-zero um, land <laughs> <F -Zero Land. laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh what what else did we talk about um i did recommend you some movies that i really want you to watch yeah some oh yeah my movie bucket list which i never got to finish that but maybe that'll be for next time hopefully things sort out well and we just and the funny thing is that we literally talk about some food that too and we talk about the golden arches <laughs> the, gold, the mcdonald's music yep. yeah the mcdonald's music well anyways is... guys um i'm gonna go funny. for the night but uh, yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Um, I'm gonna play probably more Neptunia in the morning, or I might work on uh, I might work on my hacks. I don't know. I'll see. I'm not sure what games I might even play this week, but I'm just gonna take a break for a while. Yeah, you can take a break and you can play uh, Hisa Tensoku with us. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. So. so Thursday might be fun. Yeah, this depends. It just depends what time is good on Thursday. Cause I don't know when. Everybody's gonna be free yet, but I'll figure it out. I guess. I'm always, Jacob, I'm always free. Okay. Well, uh. But the problem yeah. is that when I'll wake up. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Mhm. Mm all right. Well, have a good night, man. I'll see you then Thursday. Adios, bro. Adios. Went to go jack off. All right. Well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to you on YouTube and Twitch as always. And uh, yeah. So the plan for tomorrow, I'm going to play Neptune in the morning, maybe. Uh, Luke is going to play Toho 6, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, you can be there for that if you want. And um, I decide what else I want to do. I think Seb's going to play Paper Jam tomorrow, too. He might. He might make up another... He might be busy again, but who knows. Anyways, uh, I'm really tired. I'm going to get some cold air. I might work on something before going to bed, and yeah, that's about it. Alright, anyways, bye guys.